Did a bit more research this week. Okay. Found a good story out about a monkey. Right. Tell us about this monkey, Carl. You're gonna love this one, Steve, Go right? On. Uh, yeah, so last week we were talking about how, like, a lad left his family because there was problems at home and that. He went and lived in the wood, he got airy. Right. Yes. No, leave it there, oh, we haven't got time to go into right, it. Right, so... That's what happened. And that's what happened, he lived with the monkeys, he went airy. That's anyway, what happened. That's what happened. Looked into, uh, some other stuff about, like, airy kids and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Came across this story about a bloke, right, who worked in a zoo. Oh dear. Right. So, uh... Um, Trouble's brewing. L loving his job and that, but... It's, qu it's quite a lonely sort of job because you don't see many people, you're just dealing with animals all the time, right? Mm. So, anyway, well. he gets a bit pally with a monkey because it's the closest thing to, to a human. Well, that he appears. Right. Yeah, but you can't really go that close to apes. Is well, it dangerous? What do, you, what do you mean, what type was it? Do you Just mean it let him tell the story. Was it a chimpanzee? I reckon it was a chimp, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know, so it's a chimp. It was okay. a chimp. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, does so it? So he gets pally with him. Right, so he gets pally with well, him. Well, did they go on holiday together? Well, no, I mean, it starts on off- the pool together. Starts off just checking each other out and, uh, you know, probably sharing lunch and that together. Yeah. Right? Anyway, this goes on for a while. Is uh, you know, they, they're getting on well on that. And then after a while, right, the monkey starts sort of imitating him a bit more and sort of walking upright. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Right? So he thinks, oh, that's a bit weird. Anyway, they get on really better and what have you. So he thinks he could he could live at home with me. This because yeah. we're getting on the storm, yeah. right? So he takes him home, and before is you this know the it, beginning of Beneath the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> I think it is. I think you've seen this on video. Well, I, I'm worried because he's already <laughs> imitating him, and they're moving in together. I'm thinking it's maybe a bit like single white female. <laughs> single white zookeeper. Oh, brilliant! Right, so Go anyway. On. So, it's moving in, and it's getting used to sort of the, the normal human life. It's having a cup of tea in the morning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Piggy tips. As a, <laughs> as a, uh, it finishes the day off with a, with a... Oh, dear. Finishes, <laughs> finishes the day off with what? With it does, a, a it doesn't have to move a piano at one point, does <laughs> he? He finishes the day off with a little brandy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he pours himself a... Is he wearing a smoking jacket? You, I'll tell you what, Carl, you, you're listen, a maniac, listen, mate. Listen, no, this is, this is why it attracted me. It's amazing, right? <laughs> right. So, he's having his brandy and that, loving his life. Um, <laughs> next thing you know, he sort of, um, I don't know if he loses it or he gets shaved, but the top half of his body is hairless. hairless. Right? Apart from his head. Right? So he's right. got a nice So it's the opposite head. of the kid. Well, no, yeah. This is what well, I'm that, saying. that would happen. Right. Well, hang on, but so you don't know if you he's don't shaved even know. or if it's How correct. did it say, uh, then the, the I'll hairless, what, what? I'll bring it in for you, the story, and then you right, can well, see okay, if I've gone wrong. Keep going, keep so going. anyway, so, well, um. So this is going on and it, 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 he's having a great life. Then the zookeeper starts getting a bit annoyed because he's having a better life than the zookeeper. The zookeeper's in the zoo. This is such <laughs> so, so the zookeeper's still got to do a day's work. The monkey's at home, he's partying, well, he's got his other Well, it gets to a point when he around. says there's no point you coming in to the zoo because the whole reason of you being there was because you're being kept there. Right. And he didn't want to bring the memories back so he said, you stay at home. So you are just, you're talking such Just let him finish. God, I don't know if I can sit here and listen to this drivel. Let me, I, I'm fascinated. It's, near, it's it nearly over amazing. anyway, right? It sounds extraordinary, Carl. So, <laughs> he, he's walking up, right, he's having a tea in the morning, finishing the day off with brandy, um, <laughs> gets a bit out of hand, only tries it on with the zookeeper's wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make him go away, Steve. How does he do that? <laughs> well, because he's around humans a lot, he becomes a bit of a charmer. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> what, but what is it that he could do to seduce her? Pick fleas out of her? He didn't say. He's but, built. He was built. <laughs> yeah, he was well known. Uh, so what, what about that? Wait, what do you mean, what about it, Carl? It's obviously not true. It's obviously not true. This, this wasn't on the internet. This was in a book. So it's not a quick joke and just uh, put it on a website. This is in a book. I don't understand how. The I love that he becomes a charmer. He's got better taste in brandy. <laughs> exactly. And he ah, oh, that what is. What was it that he was doing that seduced her? I don't know. I th maybe because he was at home more than the zookeeper was. <laughs> but what would he be doing? <laughs> I love the fact that he's not going to be talking with her. They're not going to be playing like, trivia pursuit. Maybe, maybe she liked the silent type. <laughs> I don't, I, it didn't go into that, it just said it, that's when the trouble started. God. I don't think there's a wheat garden we haven't mentioned an airy kid. A hairy right. child, yeah, you're on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, some related to a monkey and that. And I thought you could do a regular thing where he's got to come up with a story about a, an ape or a, a, a monkey. And it's called Chimpanzee That. <laughs> Should we do a jingle? Well, do a little jingle for us then. <laughs> oh, Chimpanzee That!
<laughs> Brilliant. That's great. Right. So I look forward to that every week. Yeah. Um, and uh, what's your interesting, interesting chimp fact? fact? Right. It's about um, this monkey ages ago. <laughs> of course. Uh, don't know where it happened. 17th century? I think it was a chimp. Right. right. Uh, <laughs> got caught having a fag. <laughs> 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 what do you mean, do I know it? Oh, now it down. Loads got, of chimps are caught with wood binds. Right, he got caught having a fag. So it was sent to court. <laughs> and, uh, well, was it underage? It was, it was, uh... And it got someone to go into the newsagent forum. Like, Did he get a bigger gorilla yeah, to go into the newsagent to get a 20 Rothmans? It ended up doing time. Because it was, it was Go so back a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 No, whoa. I don't know the f- that's, that's as much as I know, so there's no point questioning. That is as much as you know, isn't it? Yeah. Quite literally. <laughs> Sorry, but why did he go to prison? Uh, it's, it's against the law to have a monkey having a fag, wherever it was. <laughs> In a built-up area? What are you talking about? It's against the law for a monkey to have a fag. What if he got it himself? Even if it just- what about if it, if it earned it himself, just like, moving tyres round or mucking-mucking out the zebras? I don't know the full story, that's You don't know the full story, do you? But do you think- <laughs> You never do, do you? I presume you? it was a monkey from a zoo, right? Yeah. Do you think it'd be fed up, though? Because in a way, it's home from home, isn't it? When I read it, I didn't think it was that bad because I just Carl, thought, well, they don't put monkeys in prison. They didn't put the monkey in a the prison. They're overcrowded. <laughs> they haven't got the space. Well, I'll, again, I'll find it and give you the, the like, the, where I got it from and you Trump can... Harris was furious because the monkey got the top bunk. Yeah. <laughs> can I just, uh, <laughs> read it? He did. Okay, then. Oh, <laughs> chimpanzee that. Another one next week. I don't think so. Um, what I've found is, uh, found out, like, a lot of monkeys' names, like, that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean right. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And... So, it, they're, they're, they're not born with those names, it's not like their parents give them those names, you know, they're just... Yeah, 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 yeah. But this one, right? And, um... It's called Crap? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No one. Is it involved with this show? It, um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? <laughs> I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I'm looking for something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that, because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some... I've had some, uh, umbongo, and that's all. <laughs> uh, but no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> What are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well that's weird, because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head, if that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I, you don't what do you mean, would they report it? <laughs> this isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Oh, I, you, I, I, what, what? There's got to be a third Why is that, that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, you, you First nut monkey with tattoo head, W- I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? T- no, didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But, <laughs> but it didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied having read that? Did you not have other I questions? mean, that is no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what, I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know, I don't know that that's news, I don't know that it's true, I, I, I mean, I don't know where to start with that. Is that all you found? You found a, something about a, ta- no, a monkey? I tell you, right, when I was searching for stuff on monkeys, right? Yeah. I was searching around, like I always do, looking, finding information, right? Yeah. And, um, found out, are you aware of the Iceman? The Iceman? Yeah. Go on. 
Right, and to me the monkey thing was more. What's the ice man? Oh, the man that was found in the ice. To your own. A Neanderthal man. Right, yes, yeah. so, Ricky. Do you know Not about a monkey then. No, no, I know, but I just was looking at like info. Right, the five thousand year old fella. It was preserved in a in a glacier. That one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Do you find that more fascinating than the monkey? Well, I I know that it's true. Yeah, it's true. But do you find it more fascinating? Well, simply <laughs> because it's true, I find it more fascinating. I can't act. On some, uh, uh, if someone, uh, anything that's true is more fascinating. But, you see, what I get from the monkey thing, yeah. you go, oh, I wonder, wonder if it was happy about that, and... <laughs> but you accept it straight away, you accept that that is true and interesting, and I don't know what that is. I mean, to me it sounds like a bit of cruelty towards animals. No, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, uh, uh, I mean, if that's true, it's disgusting to tattoo uh, a monkey's head. It's disgusting. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no way. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't do. A, if a monkey, if they, if they reported that a monkey um, went in and got a tattoo <laughs> and chose it itself, and then was riding a Harley Davidson down Camden, <laughs> I go, that is incredible. But I'd really want to see it on the news, and it mustn't be anywhere near the first of April. You know what I mean? I think you've just blown next week's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that. Right. Um. I don't know how recent this was. Oh, God. 17th century? But it, ha it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in that place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew, well, there's no point in getting on VHS. The grudge were on VHS. You're <laughs> having a- <laughs> Do it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right, and I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, are you familiar with this? And, uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't, she didn't know the full story, <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee? Or a um, monkey? I don't know, is there a zoo in Hackney? Is there a zoo there? I don't, I don't know, know what sort it was. But it, it, it was like- Is there on. a zoo in Hackney? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff, and um, <laughs> the p the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that- And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news? They took fingerprints. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it, they saw it, nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, get fingerprints. What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is, yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs, specifically DVDs. Yeah, uh, DVDs, I think it said watches and stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure it wasn't a kid with a mask on? No, seriously. How is he breaking into homes? They go down the they? drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but how would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. <laughs> well, I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to... there was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if in Hackney if... Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch. Which would have been good, <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that uh, kept getting on buses, not paying its fare, not paying its fare, and just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl, you're an idiot. Well, that that wasn't in London. You're an idiot. That, that was in America. It wouldn't somewhere. read the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going, oh well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the inspector will notice my hairy hands. <laughs> There's a monkey in India, right, on a, uh, railway station, waiting for the train. <laughs> no, don't mess about, cos I've got to get through it quick. There's monkeys, monkeys sat there, and, uh, this robber nicks somebody's handbag or something, <laughs> goes running off down the platform, the police are chasing him, monkey steps in, trips the fella up, pins him down, police come and arrest the fella. Oh, monkeys that can talk, yeah. um, about f they've worked out they've got about 534 different words that they're using to like have a chat about stuff. more than you <laughs> yeah what do they chat about then just you know things that monkeys are worrying about just <laughs> you know where do you get that from uh, 
you know. <laughs> Who does your hair? <laughs> you going up with her again? Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Have you seen that? Uh... Sorry, you can't just leave that. No, no, no. I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued to know what else. Is there any? No, were I they, mean, that, that Were was... they discussing the humanity? Did you see that program on Channel 5? Yeah. yeah. He can I walk think... up right. Yeah. That was good. But, I mean, what, Did you what see how well he was? Do you mean they taught them, they taught, they taught themselves this language? Yeah. Where? Where is this? In the wild is this, is it? Um Not sign language, it's but- It's in, in some jungle somewhere. They found these monkeys. He heard some, you know, some explorer was over there, cutting through the, the woods and that. And he heard his name, heard and he thought, that's what he went, what do you want, Riley? It wasn't me, I didn't say. Yeah. I, I didn't say, oh, Snodgrass, where'd you get that gun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I, well, it's only me and you here. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> weird, isn't it? No. Right, we've, we've done quite a lot of good stuff. The one that sort of kicked up most of the fuss was probably Ollie the monkey. <laughs> I, love that, I love the fact that they're all monkeys. He's a chimpanzee! Wow. Right. He's an ape! Well, today, right, we're looking at one that's, uh, <laughs> it's called Coco. Uh, right. Oh yeah, the one, the sign language one. Well, what I've read about him is, he speaks, right? Oh, God. Highly educated. Yeah. Photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Carl! Carl! Right. <laughs> I love the fact that when he gets a, you know, a gifted ape, he has to look up to him. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, he yeah. realises that he is superior. I love that. Right. Oh. And, uh, he also likes going on computer chat rooms. <laughs> And he's not teeth. I'm gonna be sick. Right. Oh gosh! Which, right, oh. That, that's pretty amazing. You know, if an infinite number of monkeys are in an infinite number of chat rooms, they'll eventually type, "Which is your favourite episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer?" Exactly. Yeah. Carl Wilkinson, you're an idiot. But the thing is, right, you're saying about the the infinite thing again about mm. monkeys. If you put them in a room with a typewriter, they'll come up with Shakespeare. Yeah. yeah. I'd sort of agree with that, right? <laughs> with monkeys who can't do other stuff, but this one I reckon's gonna be busy taking pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think monkeys that are boring. <laughs> Is there a boring monkey? Is there- would you ever have a chimp and you'd go- it, it, Suzanne would go, I've got your birthday present. And you have, it's a chimp, it's a chimp fella. He's about, you know, about a sort of like a middle-aged chimp. No, I, I'd love it. I'm talking- Would you ever go, the... I'll tell you what Suzanne, that one's boring. No, no, but I bet the monkey would get bored, I mean. Do you know what I mean? The monkey would be bored. I'd be loving it. I'd love to have a little monkey, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is- <laughs> You really would, wouldn't you? Yeah. You'd buy him a camera, he'd be happy again, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, but that's just it. You wouldn't get him to- it's like- if you can do other stuff, you don't want to do the boring stuff. Forget the typing, forget the monkey's typing. Talk about this monkey that's a photographer. No, what but you we are in a way. I'm, I'm just saying that that would be happier- Monkeys that have got nothing else to do, if they can't take pictures and that, and they can't go on chat rooms. They're happy to sit in a room typing away for, typing for away. infinity, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But he's got maybe a little exhibition to put on. Do got you- on. Do you think- Do you know most- do you know that most chimps and apes and monkeys still actually just live in trees? These are in laboratories and zoos and things. You know that, that that's not the norm, these- these monkeys yeah, yeah. walking around sort of chatting and riding bikes. Yeah. You know, that's not natural. Exactly. No, I know, but it's- If, it, if you left a bike in the jungle, and then came back a few years like, there wouldn't be monkeys riding around on it. And a book. If you left a bike with a book in the basket, right, and you went away for ten years and you came back, there wouldn't be a whole new transport system and schools. <laughs> no. They'd eat it. They'd throw it round and eat it. Alright then, so what you're saying is you can't- see, what I think is, right, and don't take this the wrong way in that, right? Stephen Hawking. Yes. Right? Now, he had a bad illness. Now, <laughs> I wonder if he'd be- I wonder if he'd be as bright as he is if he didn't have that. Right. Because he's had time to sit down and he's like, well, what can I do? Yeah. We've gone give him a book. And he read it. I like that. Give us another one. Yes. He's got a lot of time on his hands. Yes. Now, what I'm saying is, monkeys- yeah, Right. They- that- this one here, Coco, which I think was a gorilla. Right. Right? That wouldn't have been happy on a- on a little keyboard, just doing that Type all day, because it'd be going, well, I could be out taking pictures. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, <laughs> okay, there's, there's been quite a lot of stuff going on, there was a few bits in that 
Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me 20 quid. Yeah, well, that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so that's- there's, there's one in there. New that... music, new music. New, new monkey news <laughs> from last September. You're a lord. Come on. Waster. Police, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this, this monkey in, uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm. And, uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey. And, uh, You're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said, uh, the people in charge were like, oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids? Brilliant. Right. So, uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand sort of, you know, they'd have their little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of, uh, lean on the fence having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. <laughs> 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 well, you know, the, yeah, the, the, the equivalent <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like- <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> Okay, it was fascinating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just gossiping, I understand. So, uh, uh, what's uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I know, it's tuning in. What was the monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on. It was from last September. Go so, on. they were, um, they were, st you know, stood there having a chat and the zookeepers were like, I wonder if they're ever gonna, you know, have kids and that. Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages, you know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> so, what the zookeepers did was, they, uh, they said, I know how they'll have kids. Are we letting that go? They were just chatting, are we just letting just, that go? Letting you know go. what I mean, need, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do, okay. right? So, um, so yeah, so the zookeepers were like, yeah, I wonder when they're gonna, you know, have some kids. Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do, t to sort of do to egg them on, yeah. um, bought, um, bought one of them a suit, won a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going! No, I'm not having Shut it. up, Jervais. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of this. They got, they got married. So and, they got uh, married? Yeah, they got married. Right. What? That's the end of it! That's this is why I don't- Right, that's the end of Monkey News! Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> I love the jingle. Right, well, well uh, Can we play that jingle once more? Yeah. Let me cue it up. <laughs> so, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Got a lot to live up to now. I'll yeah. be honest with you, often that jingle is more fun than the monkey news. Well, yeah. So you've got to excel yourself this week. Well, it's, uh, there's been a lot going on. Um, in the monkey world? Yeah, uh, I was looking at the Guinness Book of Records that we bought last week. Mm -hmm. What you bought? What that I bought. Yeah. Is um, it still wet? I was cleaning the tea off it, I was having a, <laughs> having a little read through, and uh, there was some monkey stuff in there, there was um, this isn't the actual story, I'm just telling you yeah, what, just what, it's like, what it's like looking up monkey news <laughs> <Yeah>. all week. <laughs> it's like behind the scenes. Yeah. It's like the making of monkey news, which is actually available on DVD. Exactly. It's, uh, you know, 12 minutes unseen footage, just the making of monkey news. <laughs> which is my favourite bit in a way. If, if, you, if you enjoy monkey news, see how it happens, yeah. see, you know, from conception right. to- uh, <laughs> It's all put together, yeah. yeah. go on. Yeah. What's a typical monkey news day? <laughs> well, there was, uh, there was some stuff about a monkey in the Guinness Book of Records. I think it, it had the record- for asking for a cup of coffee in <laughs> 23 different ways. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, now what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm -hmm. Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this, no, listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in. Doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yeah, yep. everything's normal. Everyone's yep. happy, right? Yep. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof, up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl. If this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey-related species, you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never. Uh, so, so just if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank. Turns out to be a chimpanzee. <laughs> that's the end of monkey news. All right. Okay. Let's right. hear the end. It's a it's a lovely day in a lovely bank. Everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A um, man comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, Is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. <laughs> Is it? Off, Rick, let me let him finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right. Up to no good. So everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish well, you didn't come in here. It's not going to be a good day. How tall is the it. man? Shut up. Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know, oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's in what, thinking, in English? Shh. In English? Yeah. In English? So? Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it it's all bad worse. news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh god, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? 
He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it wanders in, right? Uh, get, goes up to the robber. Where did it- where did it come from? Shut up! Will you let me finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! I'll Don't see you later. Sit down, sit down no, and finish. I'm not having this. And it Here's does, the it end does, of the story. It does a runner with the with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are. You have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No. What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in, whether- was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey robbery? What are you talking- think, Carl! Think! I know it's mad, that's- that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how- how like, how monkeys are, are pretty, you know, they're mental. <laughs> they're up to no good. What are you- think! They've never seen the monkey since! What, did he have a get- getaway car waiting? Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details, don't talk rubbish! Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Brilliant. Right? Um, right, before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the, he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he nicked the robber's loot and backed out. Yeah. With a gun. Yeah, he sort of stole- he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He took he the weapons, he took all the weapons, there was like a couple of robbers. He managed- because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in, it was like- Don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway. So anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay, now what was that, that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he- no, no, no. Right, so, <laughs> so, um, so the follow up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo. Right? Uh, you, uh, right, Carl, you're talking shit. Well, you, Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get out of the official Imagine thing? if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't- It wouldn't happen. I don't want- I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So, uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out, and go get him. He's he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? Right. His monkey mates. His monkey mates. So they've all got a couple of guns each. Oh, Carl, uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I cannot Just stand it. Honestly, I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to do him a, do him a deal. They said, "How about if?" Uh, I'm going. Tell him that. I'm right. not going. Now I can't. Step out for a moment. Okay, we're we'll just doing. Look, it's don't listen. Step out, and I'll paraphrase what what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. Now, please, I need to hear- I need to hear the end of this. Is, this is monkey news. This is important stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room. He cannot- he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money, and mm. they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we'll give you some cash. Yes. And they go- oh. Sorry, the, well, hang on, sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys? Yeah. Right. No, 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 the monkeys who have got the £250,000 right. say to the zookeepers, we'll sort you some money out if you let us go. So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, we'll give you some money? Yeah. You don't see any problem with that? Right, listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. Right, I'm listening out there. You can, this is ridiculous. You go! What do you mean the monkeys say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They were probably holding the money out, like, kind of going, look, you know, we'll do your deal. Right, okay, come on. Um. And what happened is, I think, uh, I think that, I think they were happy with that, I think they left and that was that. They, they, they wanted to get out of the zoo, because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right, I, I don't- uh, Just have a look. Right, Carl, think. Right, how did they get out in the first place, this one? Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed, he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape, and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? If no. If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? What have you read there, Steve? I I've got- a I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> 
I think it's Escape from the Planet of the Apes, like, I'm not certain. It could be Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right. You ready? Yeah. Alright, there's this monkey. Right? Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Internet. Internet. I'm, I'm short. Chat rooms on the internet. I'm short. Sure <laughs> so um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right. But he's always working on his own. So he's he's got his mate Jack in with him, right. This this little monkey, yeah. and. Uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, he starts getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean. When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean, you mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <coughs> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this, right, the monkey. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's uh, pulling down the levers and stuff, yeah. so the train's sort of coming on the right lines. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the trains coming and that. I have British Rider listening. Yeah. Right? Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company, happy with that. <laughs> I'm sure they, 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 they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best <laughs> monkey for the job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman. It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, probably. Well, it's uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation <laughs> of their news before they give it out as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, "For this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday." <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh, dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face <laughs> and transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you. You've never. He always, he always has um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeved. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes. You're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth and it comes out the the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? I'm pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with, what's wrong with that? You're a, you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why you, your, your IQ is sort of about 80. I think you might be. You might, I, I don't mean uh, there was any, I think it was a genetic sort of, sort of throwback. Well, you're pretty hairy. Look <laughs> at your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Better monkey news, that's been, uh, it's been sent in. Mm. Right. Uh, Gareth in Catford. Right, good work, Gareth. Um, basically, it's about this, uh, this monkey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the jungle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's got a gig at an hairdresser's. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got itself a nice little job going in an hairdresser's. As what? It, um, gets people sitting down. Um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that, it sort of sits there. And it goes through people's hair, makes sure it's clean, and uh, people are loving it. Right, people backtrack. So, so it's a so it's a pet monkey. It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at Monkey and Guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Seriously, it, it's it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job, and then so what does it say? It says junior fifteen pounds, style is thirty five pounds, <laughs> monkey is sixty three pounds. <laughs> so Cut I and blow dry. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> Right. And maybe, maybe it did. But it looks good. Its hair looks good. Someone thought, hey, yeah, on. but never ever. You see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well, if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right. Because yeah. that's what I thought when I read it about having yeah. a good haircut. How right? often do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore. Sure. But but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, 
and it was run by sort of, you know, these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh yeah. But they'd, uh, you know, you'd go in what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just, just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for air cut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You don't have to take it. <laughs> no, I know, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you so know. So for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and, so that, that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I haircut. I don't want to be assholed. Yeah, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who works in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he saloon. should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack next to a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So, anyway, that's all, yeah. I yeah. didn't quite follow why he, he, he's still, he's still, his, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his, doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um, <laughs> he's walking about, he wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there, he's he's like, this is nice. He's sat there picking the nits and oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then- It's just the, it's the, it's the embellishment. You don't walk in, he walked from a jungle to an hairdresser's. I mean, you're an idiot. <laughs> you really are an idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser, if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said, this is relaxing. Apparently he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right, on people's heads. He said, let's put him on the payroll. So let's put him on the payroll? What do you mean? No, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Kane. There you go. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Yeah. Regular Amporon Shekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for, like, salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And nits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets, when <laughs> it gets deducted at uh, national insurance. <laughs> it's not part of the union. Yeah. Right, we've got to be quick. Go but, on. Uh, this is something that was sent in to me ages ago, and I don't know why I haven't done it yet because it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, we were talking about monkeys typing, mm -hmm. um, the Shakespeare theory, and all that. Mm -hmm. Well, this is about a uh, little monkey called Marty, right? Basically, uh, it's in some science lab, right? It's in there. Uh, it was wandering about out of its cage, right? <laughs> The lab fella was busy on the phone or something, yeah. right? And um, mm. typical. It's wandering about. It goes up to a, a PC that's in the corner, a little computer. Types down, "My name is Marty." Right. Mm. So the fella got off the phone, saw this on the screen with the monkey sat there. Says to his mate, "Have you done this?" Right. Hold on, Carl. Let right. him finish. Oh. Before you question, always let him finish. Right. I don't know what to do. Time's against us, come on. He said, uh, he said, have you done this? He says, done what? He said this on, on the screen here, saying, my name's Marty. Right? He goes, what are you talking about? As he's having an argument with his mate, saying, you're lying, you did it. Monkey's sat there, typing, this isn't a practical joke, my name is Marty. Right, and that's the end of the story? I, um, I'm not coming in next week. Uh... I, think, can't, we, I, think, I it's, think we need a week off. I actually think we need a week off. It's doing a, uh, a web chat or something. I, uh, you can go online and have a chat chat with it. The monkey's doing a web chat? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Has he right, got his own website yet? His uh, favourite Buffy the Vampire and stuff here? Have a look at that, have a look at that. Right. Do you believe that, Carl? It's all there. No, but do you believe it? Do you believe that monkey could type that and then say this is not a practical joke when he's all arguing? Weird, isn't it? <laughs> So, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh, yeah. Uh, he lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? It's been Don't say anything stupid, think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a little monkey worki working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, do mm -hmm. a little bit of magic, people loved it. Yeah. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. 
Right. Because back then there were so my, many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names yeah, do, you, what do you do? So yeah. they just like, named yeah, them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- just Well, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys. What? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I- I- if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh- 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 where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna see tonight? I don't know. It's, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they exactly. They have, have numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. They, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But you know, with a few monkeys anyway, number working- Anyway, 22, go on. So anyway, so uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh-huh. With his hat. walking around, getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on. Because in Morocco, he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey, he said, how about we, uh... <laughs> See? <laughs> no, let him continue. Think. He let, let him continue. He, he didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So, uh, the monkey was in agreement? So he said, oh, go on then, right? So, uh, so they get in the car, <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat, and uh, pull over at a petrol station, uh-huh. and uh, just before filling it up, he opens up the boot and he goes, "Yeah, all right." And then it's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's round." <laughs> uh, so he leaves, it does. he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst he's uh-huh. filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money. Goes. Uh, I'm just paying for the. Right. Uh, this monkey is not going to drive away in that car, <laughs> or we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's num- what's number eighty six up to? So <laughs> eighty six. So, uh... That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let Carl right, finish the story. Be, it better brilliant, not be. Brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fella says, what are you talking P- about, Pump 4? Isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> I use- no, I mean Pump 4. Sure. Yeah, so he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You Sticks f- his head out of the door. Yeah. The monkey's giving it some. Uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just- let's just get a couple of the facts right yeah, here. Well, what do you mean, couple of the facts? Right, there are no facts! So, it number 86. Number, number 86, 86 drove- ma- he drove to Spain. You are- t- uh, honestly, Carl, I- t- you must know. It was an automatic. Right, Carl, how did he, how you did must he- know that is shit. There is no way a monkey- smart, dr- it? That's the thing with his feature, though. He gets stopped at customs. It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Got, he got a passport? No, no, he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. A little monkey. I think it lives in Asia, right? Uh, there's loads of them live in Asia. Might and, just be travelling, but yeah. And um, something they found out. I don't know if they've got it right, and that's why I want to bring it up. Uh, apparently, it's the mammal, right? That's got sort of the, the pointiest eyes. Eyes that pop out of the red. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, right, I thought that's interesting. Yeah. Apparently it's, it's, it's the biggest with the sort of goggle eye type thing. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, go on. Apparently, they they come out of the red. Um, one point six centimeters. One point six centimeters. What you mean? They protrude. Yeah, they uh, protrude uh, from the head at one point six. Okay. What? How, how long? Have you got a ruler, Rick? <laughs> one point one point six. I'd say I'd be a little bit annoyed if the monkeys beat me. Well. <laughs> I don't think it has. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs>
Is there yeah. anything we can... I mean, what's 1.6? Right, can you... It's about... Drop your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, uh, well, oh, about well, three quarters of an inch. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Have they got it right, or what? <laughs> Maybe I should come down to Monkey World with you next week. Uh, uh, so anyway, so that's that's not the monkey news, <laughs> that's just something that cropped up. And... Sure. I do know once, when we were playing pool in the office, I think Lucy was your partner. Yeah. It was me and Ash versus you and Lucy, and um, you were having trouble because his glasses kept slipping down, so Lucy pushed his glasses up, his nose, but the glasses touched his eye. <laughs> do you remember that? Uh, Yeah. He started it. He started it. Well, you're the one who joined in. <laughs> no, I know, and I feel I'm, I feel bad now. Yeah. <laughs> it makes me nervous when he goes. Yeah. It's not player record. No, I'm just trying to think about which part of your fat middle-aged physique I can pick on. <laughs> the tits would be a good. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Oh, the belly. Sure. Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> oh, that that's what is that player record. <laughs> Is that monkey news for this week? Have we not got well, any other monkey, monkey news? news? Well, well, it's just, it hasn't been that good. I mean, the one that I found out here, um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that got a, got a decent job in a train station, um, can you think of any of the other? Well, that's just there? some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean, so that's what you've got to compete with. So even Go though on. this is quite amazing, um... Just we'll tell us! Another monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. What do you mean? It's got uh, another one, you know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. They decided to, you know, get married. Yeah. They did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it uh, pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and, uh... <laughs> good do! Spread. I love that. Just, Peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele uh. Celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because but it's not true, <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not. On an over website, official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania uh, after a whirlwind romance. Well, that's <laughs> after a whirlwind <laughs> romance. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. <laughs> yeah. 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 She was in the tyre, yeah. he saw it, <laughs> yeah. he went, I have a go at that, they go, we well, got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, do you just, yeah. did you just shut He was in a zoo tire? knocking one off, she went, I can do that for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guess say the monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. Oh. His bride was, <laughs> Not was, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was, no, I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, Like, right, you right. know, Legit, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, single now, thoughts. it's like, you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, she sure. She looked lovely, by sure. the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the this is the guest in I hope they didn't ruin there. it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. Toasty <laughs> <laughs> with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I, I really... I yeah, so today's isn't, isn't that, uh, isn't that happy really? It's about, uh, some monkey, I think it was a chimp. Um... He was an ape. Go on. It tried to... It, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Carl? I, I don't, it it I jumped mean... past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What? Are you... Do you know what I mean? It, it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, there's this monkey, went to Russia. Um, <laughs> to do some business. <laughs> do some stuff. I don't know. Bit of monkey business. And, um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> they were furious. <laughs> we wanted a surgeon. You send us a monkey. Um. Anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh no! So it was taking a turn for the worst. What couldn't even get into a like, you know like a tree hostel or anything like that. That's 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 the problem. And, oh uh, god! Ended up uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff, um, 
you know, share and drink and we'll have you around a little fire. <coughs> um, they broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so not homeless flat. anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a you know, roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his He mate. said that in Russian, though. <laughs> but what did it, what, what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, I didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, like, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables, that, I mean, they, they, fat classically to, sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and But they've got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so. Sure. He probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. 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 Anyway, there was a bust. Um, what? There was, a, there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left uh, little chimps out there, got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella at first. They were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station. And, uh, the boss was like, what's going on here? We've got a monkey here. He was like, what? So you arrested the monkey. Well, so, the, uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going, <coughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice until they got there. What, did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just, like, bat, you know? I, I don't know. Now, whilst I was in Cornwall, I wasn't online. I didn't no. have the internet, so it was like, oh, what am I gonna do? And I didn't come back till yesterday. And I thought, is there loads going on that I don't know about in the monkey world and stuff? I was hoping to get some from the zoo that I was meant to be going to. Of course, that didn't happen. So, I said to my dad, do you know anything about monkeys? Have you got any stories with monkeys? Brilliant. This is a- no, this is what Trevor McDonald does. <laughs> Turned out- he cut, Quarter to ten, he goes, <laughs> yeah. oh, got nothing. <laughs> Dad, anything happened? You got anything politics? Anything politics, Dad? <laughs> this isn't monkey news, I'm just giving you this free. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, turned out one of his mates used to have a chimp. <laughs> right. Um, what do you mean one of his mates used to have a chimp? Well, two, two of his mates. Mind oh, you, sorry, yeah, mate, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking it sounds a bit far-fetched living in Manchester-like, <laughs> but if there was two of them. He had a chimp, um, had to thump it in the head. <laughs> <laughs> For doing what? Answering back? <laughs> oh, God! Tried it on with his wife. <laughs> Had to thump it in the head for trying it on with his wife! I love it, I love it, it's a proper fist fight in a pub in Manchester. Oh. I'd call him up, but he's one of them who, like, swears all the time. Right. Oh. I mean, it'd be good, it'd be good to get him on and C just- Let's interview him. Can we not interview him pre-record? We can bleep out the swear and I'd love to hear his story. a lot of work, that. Yeah, well, well, it, 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 well, we're not scared of work, obviously. No, I mean, I'll, I'll get know. myself if you can't be bothered. Yeah, oh, you know, I'll so. have a word, I'll have a word, I'll sort it out. Yeah, try yeah, and sort that yeah, out. Yeah, sort um, that out, yeah. Well, don't yeah. tell us the rest of the story then, let's let him say it in his own No, words. but there was another one as well, uh, some fella- When you say you can get him on, but he swears a lot, you mean the monkey? <laughs> 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 I'm assuming he's more coherent than your dad's mate. <laughs> but there's him, and there's some other fella we know who had a funny name, I'll have to find out, because you'll love his name. But he was a drag artist. Yeah. And, uh, I think he said he went- my dad went round one day, I don't know why, right? Went around there, knocked on the door, chimp answered. <laughs> Carl, I don't know what you're doing, mate. I don't know where- this place you live, next door there's an horse in the front room. There's chimps mad, running round. Mad. Anyway, uh <laughs> Chimp answer! Is that it? Is that the end of the story? There's a chimp answer in the door and that's the end. Are you sure it wasn't the drag artist before he shaved? No, sure no, it wasn't your grand. Because oh. I like the really airy ones that decide they can be female impersonators. <laughs> yeah, your grand. <laughs> anyway. Go on, um, is, this is the monkey news. So you got that for free, what's this gonna be like, well, Steve? Well, let's have more jingles. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news extra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, uh, another phrase, we've been talking about phrases today. Yeah, we have, Don't yeah. touch your granny when she's shaving. Yeah. Uh, don't touch your granny when she suck eggs. Yeah. Uh, don't look horse in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't let the chimp answer the door if you're chucking your cock in. <laughs> um, familiar with the phrase monkey business? <laughs> <laughs> no, never heard that one before, Carl. That's brilliant. Right, well, it came about, this has been emailed in and I haven't really had a chance to look at it, so I'm just weighing it up now. 
Um, oh, God. Yeah. It's yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah, shambles yeah. on air, isn't it? Really? Mm-hmm. I'm ashamed of it. it. I mean, what was Dr. Fox? Dr. Fox must have been really polite. He must have been thinking, I don't know how to put this. Mm. He, wa- he, uh, he must have wanted to scream and go, you shouldn't be in the radio authority. My parents listen online, I can't look them in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've weighed it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> long time ago, right? Yeah. In the, uh, Olden days, yeah. In Born. the Amazon jungle. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Little family of monkeys in there. Mm-hmm. Right? Having a good life. Good. Right? Didn't have any predators in there. Right? So, they were loving it. Yeah. They had a load of food around them, they had loads of banana trees, yeah. right? Mm, um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, they did. Sorry, yeah, I, yeah. Everything's going great, so they're happy in that. They go out of bed. <laughs> okay. Wake up in the morning, load of bananas gone. Ooh, hang on, interesting. Hold on, wait a minute. So... Amazon- <laughs> Either your dad's been around, or... Is the, this isn't the great Amazon banana robbery, is it? So anyway, turns out, it was another load of monkeys from another part of the island. From the rough bit. <laughs> <laughs> from the rough bit. From the rough bit. I love it. They went, they went into a middle class area. Oh, oh, they're that the ones is... with the earrings and the leather jackets. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. From a rough part of the island. <laughs> so the monkeys thought, well, there's no point getting into a fight with them because they're harder than we are. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, and they carry chains. So. <laughs> They yeah, got flip knives and tattoos. Go, yeah, go on. So basically, they said, let's do some business with the bananas. Let's do some business with the bananas? <laughs> this is such shit! This is such a fucking <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Christ! Right, I... calm down, we haven't oh, got much time left. Oh, God! What do you mean they said it? Forget it. <laughs> no! Forget don't it. forget it! Okay, uh, monkey news this week. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we've covered a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have indeed. Um, <coughs> now do you know, like, <sighs> there's places where you can go for, like, weekend rests and stuff, sure. and you can, you relax, you sit in a little spa, you might have a swim and yep. stuff. Mm. Well, they've got a place done for monkeys. Of course they have. Right? They can go there, they can they relax, forget about all the stuff they've got going on in their head. <laughs> they can have a manicure. Right. It's got nice meals. <laughs> it's it's not called a manicure though, it's called a chimpacure. Beauty event. treatments. Yeah. Right. It's look good and stuff. Yeah, well look good, feel good, yeah. Now you might think, well that's pretty normal. Well. The bit I haven't told you about <gasps> is it's actually run by a couple of chimps. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. <laughs> it's like a couple of chips. Just... Of course it's not. No, 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 it is. Because think about it. Right? <laughs> no, not think about it. What do you mean, yes, it is? Of course it's not run by a couple of chimps. What do they do? Get a loan? Right. If a chimp wants yeah. to have a rest. Yeah. Where would you go to? A place that's run by humans that don't. What, don't They don't know what chimps' needs are. No! My point is this, how did they get it together? How did the two, what, two chimps, what, Mr <laughs> and Mrs Chimp, went for a loan and said, I'll tell you what we need, a spa. I think, I think it started off quite simple, right? Just, uh, just, you know, basic, basic stuff. <laughs> well, they've expanded going... every time because it's become so popular. It's, it's gone mental down there. Sure. <laughs> Go! They've, they've I all heard know. about it. Now, the thing is, the problem is this, right? That isn't even the, the top and bottom of it, right? <laughs> Christ. The I problem don't... is, it's been going on and on and on, right? It's been it's been earning a lot of money and stuff. The monkeys are happy. The monkeys that go there are loving it. They're telling friends and stuff. They're <laughs> all coming to it. Now the the problem is, it's this little uh, little monkey, little man monkey, and a little woman monkey, right? Yeah. They were sort of girlfriend and boyfriend. Sort of. <laughs> it's an open relationship. They can play around if they want. Well, the problem is they're not married, right? <sighs> now trouble, trouble brewing. The lad monkey, fella monkey, um, he's getting quite old. Mm. And the problem is because it's his name that's down on all the, all the Carl, stuff. Carl, I'm Let him I finish. I'm getting scared now. Let him finish. It's his name on the business, and the problem is, is his missus is kind of like, what's going to happen? Sure. What are you getting this, where away, are you getting this from? What? Are you- Internet. Carl, <laughs> I don't know where to start. 
No. This is the- this can is just, the- uh, Can we just hear the, the end? Oh, this is ridiculous. So, the problem is, the- the-, the, the female monkey is worried that the male monkey is gonna, gonna die What's gonna happen with the happen? business? What's gonna happen? Of course. Right? Now- What do you mean, the business? The- the- the health That is spa. the business! It's a joke! Health Rick, spa. you're not listening. His name's on the form. <laughs> <laughs> the male monkey's <laughs> name, it's in I, his name. Uh, now, the problem is, oh. the woman monkey has got some kids. But because they're not blood, blood relatives, it's not gonna be handed down to them. And the court- well, they're, they're kids from a previous monkey marriage? Yeah. Right. Uh, so that- they're not gonna get it. Um, let me just check this out. Yeah, otherwise you don't wanna check the facts, otherwise yeah. you could look like a twat or t spouting shit on the radio. Please check the facts for scientific security. And they're just a bit worried because they're saying- that the people in Ohio, which is where they where they've got the the uh, the little health thing going on. So that makes it more believable that it's Ohio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought you meant it was Berkshire, in which it, case it would be rubbish. It looks like the local people are trying to get in there. They've seen the success of it, sure, and they're they trying to go in and take it over and stuff. Yeah. So give me the piece of paper. Throw it away. Play a record. That's the worst. That's the worst one I've ever heard. And you are. There's something wrong with you. You're educationally subnormal. What a monkey's good at? What a monkey's good at? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, running small businesses, <laughs> cutting people's uh, hair, and they're driving very good cars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they love Spain. Oh, and foiling bank robberies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're great. Well, something else they're good at, right? Is like weighing up the situation. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh God! If you stick them in a in like a a field with loads of like obstacles on it. Right, they're good at sort of, yeah, I can get over that, I know how to climb over that, I'll swing from there to there, that sort of thing, right? Okay. So the people in charge of somewhere, I've thought- oh, Somewhere! Come on! I've thought we can use that, we can use that skill, right? What? And what- what, the, what they've done is they've got a lo load of, uh, little monkeys, right? They've given an IQ test. Yeah. And the ones that score above 80, right? Get to produce this show next week. <laughs> Join the army. <laughs> <laughs> right. How do they join the army, and what do they do? They just um, what they do is they, they set little obstacle courses up for them. They do that. They do a cross country run. They do um, the a cross IQ country test. run. Yeah. Okay. And then once they've done all that, they make them a little uniform, made to measure little uniform. Long, yeah. Slightly longer arms, shorter legs than usual. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, Basically, then they taught how to use a gun and that sort of thing. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> uh, You're talking rubbish again. This this came this came through literally, you know, pretty late late on. So so you've not had a chance to incorporate all the facts as usual. Right. Come on. So what's the name? What? We've done. <laughs> Sorry, what, what? 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 Brilliant. We've done. Uh, we've done a lot of monkeys who like got involved in crime and mm, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right. We had uh, the one on the train station. Yep. Nick in a bag. Yeah. We had the one who went Don't into a that bank. One. Who cares? Went into a bank <laughs> and walked out with the money and stuff. Yes, right. Didn't happen either. Next. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, you never sort of found out what happened to them if they sort of got worse, got more involved into oh, crime. Oh, this monkey news update. <laughs> that would uh, be amazing. Brilliant. What they found out in India is, yeah, it's got a prison. It's okay. just for monkeys. <laughs> You mean you mean wild animals? You mean a zoo? Yeah, yeah, a zoo or a kennel or no. something that where they've they've it's been mm. uh, gone mental or no, something. No, it's a prison. Yeah, it's a prison. Is, it, is it? Does it have fraud cases? It's got it's I mainly, bet, I, I, mainly sort of animals that are attacked things. It's mainly violence. I bet that's my that and uh, that and theft. Say Making it again. Stuff. Theft. <laughs> say it again. Theft. Say it again. Robin. Uh, no, let's go back to the, 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 that word. We're going to keep doing it. You've got, we've got Robin. six minutes. You're going to say the word right before you go to Hastings. Well, you say it. No, well, you no, say it. Then you know how to say it. Well, all right, Robin. Then it's been caught, Robin. Say it again, though. So Who's anyway. Robin? Who's Robin? So uh, they've got this prison. <laughs> right. This is extraordinary. <laughs> say it again. No, you're not going to say it. No, go on then. So they got a prison for them, right? And. Uh, there's eleven of them in there, eleven monkeys. Right. That are in there for life. <laughs> Cause that's- the, 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 I think there's one just got out on parole, right? No right. time off for the there's eleven, again? there's eleven, I'll give you the bit of paper because I thought this was- <laughs> Weird, now even you, th you thought it was a bit weird. Now Carl, what, uh, what are they in there for then? Cause I mean they're in there for life so I'm assuming Robin, it's murder, Robin, is it? Robin. <laughs> 
premeditated murder? <laughs> they're, not, they're not crime bosses, are they? They're not. Are not they, into are kind they of the, prostitution and gambling? Are you sure they're not the, just the pawns and the and the head sort of like orangutans up a tree going? Remember, you don't know me. You're on your own. <laughs> 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 if I go down, you're all yeah. coming with me. You take some of your gorillas down there and sort him out. Oh, the great banana robbery. <laughs> I wonder, if, I wonder if they'd get them. <laughs> right, go on then. Okay, let me see. Now, where, I don't know what source this is, as ever. <laughs> is it just <laughs> as ever the ba back of a fag packet found in a toilet? Well, no, I mean, someone's clearly... If, if this is nonsense, then someone's clearly gone to a lot of effort, because it does open with the headline, Parole unlikely for inmates of monkey prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Officials <laughs> say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail. Officials? Now, what kind of people <laughs> work <laughs> at a monkey jail? <laughs> where do you work? Uh, um, uh. it says officials say 11 inmates at India's only monkey jail are unlikely to ever be released. Uh, the prison in Patilia houses monkeys apprehended by game wardens in Punjab state for thieving and attacking people. Uh, the Daily, uh, the Daily Telegraph reports how the monkeys at the prison in Monty Bar blah, 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 snarl and glare at visitors from their heavily barred cages. Two monkeys were released a year ago after exhibiting good behaviour for 18 months in the jail. They have remained out of trouble. Prison can work, that's good. So... So All basically, eleven monkeys. They were aggressive wild animals that were taken away from the public for their own good. I'm robbing them up. <laughs> <laughs> Wildlife officials believe part of the problem has been caused by thieves training monkeys to help them. Lorry drivers training monkeys as guards for vehicles and itinerant entertainers oh, <laughs> using ill treated so monkeys as and part it's of the, their own. It's the monkey that takes the rap. It's a shame that isn't that it? That is awful. They didn't know what they were doing, did they? Oh, so there you go. What do you think of that though, Carl? What would you, what would, if you, if you could visit them, like Lord Longford or something, what would you, what would you say to them? You go there and they, you, they, you get a visit a week or something, you know. So can you get us a video? <laughs> 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 right. Do they get, uh, conjugal rights? Do you reckon? You wouldn't be interested in that though, would you? What's, they get what? <laughs> <laughs> would you be happy to give them their conjugal rights? Yeah, would you. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one's about a, uh, it's been emailed in to me. Right. right. I haven't really had time to check it out this week. No, been, you're joking. Been busy. Ooh, been I busy. hope it's not stupid. Um, goes back to 1908 and the person saying it's, you know, it's a good story and that, and I'll be surprised they haven't picked up on it yet. Right. <laughs> uh, the Olympics, right, mm. um, in 1908 in yeah. London. <laughs> Apparently it was meant to happen in, in Italy, but it was cancelled. Don't know why. Right? And it happened in London. Yeah. Anyway, 400 metres, right, it was meant to, uh, <laughs> there was a fella who was, who was going to do the run, right, and the favourite to win it was this Bulgarian guy, right? It right. was like a new Okay, uh, there's, there's a few things it cannot be. One, he injures himself so a monkey steps in and wins. Uh, two, he does a drugs test, it turns out that he is a monkey. Um, so if it's either of those, right, I'm gonna go mad. So anyway, so the fella, right, this, this favourite, everyone's putting the money on him, thinking, yeah, he's gonna do it, gonna Is he hairy? Nice little, is this it? bloke hairy? So anyway, so the race happens. Yeah. And everybody's lined up, ready to run. And you know, everyone's saying, yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna win, and suddenly, a bit of murmuring going on, people going, oh, what's going on here? Mm, right? he's eating a banana. <laughs> and well, there's a fella, there's a yeah. fella in the lane next to him. Yeah. Right? He's going up. Who's that? He doesn't look familiar. Oh, Christ, Carl. Chico. Right? Doesn't look familiar. Who's he? Yeah. You know, weird. Know, what's weird, going on? It? What's going on? What's yeah. going on? Yeah, what is it? What is it? Or who is it? I mean, not what is it? So they go in. <laughs> So they say, well, he might not be that any good, do you know what I mean? He might not be good, he might, it's just- A bit short, anything. Doesn't matter. He's only three foot six and he's hunched over on his knuckles, so- I didn't uh, realise it was fancy dress. <laughs> yeah. So well, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna be any good. <laughs> so, so the race starts- Oh, he put his finger up his arse, that's weird for runners to do that before a race. It's weird, isn't it? yeah. Race starts. Yeah. The fella that no one recognises wins it. People go, what, what, what's gone on here? Yeah, sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We yeah. had our money on the favourite, what's gone on? Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Anyway, he stood up there, right? He's, he's looking well happy. Yeah. He's lifting the trophy and everything. <laughs> right. Okay. right. Long arms, long arms, that trophy's higher than- So anyway- <laughs> He's so only three foot, but the trophy's nine foot in the air with those long arms. <laughs> so, so I'm suspicious, go on. They had the- they had the picture in the paper the next day. Sure. And everyone's going, yeah, he's, he was fast and everything, but quite hairy for a runner. Oh, for f- I'll tell you come what, on, no. come quite, on. quite hairy for a runner, because normally they shave themselves, don't they, to s make them faster and no. they're going, how did he manage it? It's really hairy and that. So anyway, 
he wins the stuff, he walks away with a cup, the people who are in charge of the running, or like the, uh, the Oli Olympic Committee, look further into it, turns out it was a chimp. Right, keep talking. No, right. don't keep talking. Shut, shut up. up. Shut up. This is monkey news. If you can't handle the news- It's news from 1909 <laughs> and I haven't heard about a chimp winning the Olympics. Right, be quiet. What happened there then? 400 metres, right. Now don't the thing is- Don't talk shit. The Please, only thing was, Ricky. it took so long for the Olympic Committee, right, to find out that it was a monkey. It was going man- it was like going, like manic. It went into loads of races, it was picking up loads of, like- No, oh, shut up! Right? It became a celebrity, it was doing, <laughs> it was doing endorsements on TV. Don't talk shit! Uh, it said, uh, he managed to win the right. same race four years later in Athens because- How did he get to Athens? What is- it's a joke! They're winding you up, Carl! Weird. It's not weird, weird it's in- it? right. I do- Right. Uh Let's have a look. This one's from, uh, <sighs> from some woman, right? Yeah. And she's, um, she was taking part in the London to Brighton bike ride, right? Mm. Lovely day, weather's good and everything. What year? She's, uh, just a couple, a couple of months ago. Um, she's done all the training, right? Done all the training and stuff. Mm. Uh, got a brand new bike for it, got a little puncher outfit and stuff, all set for the day, right? It's a nice day, she sets off. They all start pedalling and that on the way to Brighton, yeah. right? So she's, she knows the route and that. Got a little headphones on, cycling along. Uh, suddenly. Right. Okay. I'm gonna stop you now. Um, if uh, a cyclist overtakes her <laughs> and it's going really fast and it's sort of hunched over, but it's got like lots of cycling gear on and a helmet and goggles and they can't tell what it is, but they just know it's a, like a uh, little hairy um, fella um, who hasn't bothered shaving his legs, which is weird, isn't it? Because cyclists usually shave their legs, and this bloke had really hairy legs. But um, and it won. They gave it the medal. It won three years running. They gave it the key to the city. Uh, it had its own game show, and then someone said, "Hold on, though. This fella's sort of hunched over, and he's only three foot five, and his arms are longer than his body. Uh, it's a chimp." If it goes anywhere near that, we're never doing it again. More monkey news next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's cycling so along. So anyway, she's cycling along, right? And uh, this tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't predict that. <laughs> There's oh. always one element you can never anticipate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a kiddie's tricycle with a little kid on it. Little hairy kid with a helmet. Okay, just go on then. Well, a tricycle comes. Whizzing past, past, yeah, him. strong legs, didn't they, Jims? So she's thinking that, but didn't get a chance to see the face. Oh, yeah, couldn't quite see the cyclist! <laughs> you, oh, God! You bald mank git. Go what? on. Yeah, research scientist Carl Pilkington. So, <laughs> so anyway, she gets to the end line, right? Yeah. And um, they got talking, that's, it was a nice day, nice race and all that. <laughs> so did you see. Uh, a little, little thing on a tricycle. Thing? Well, no, no, well, well, person, surely, just a human. Did you see that, no, did you see that bloke on the tricycle? So anyway, oh, turns tricycle. out- tricycle! Yeah! Well, what did you say, thing? Well, no, that's, well, was no, no suspicious. I mean, what did you say, did you see that fellow on a tricycle? <laughs> anyway, so it turns out- Go on. It was a chimp. You're joking! <laughs> right? Well, Christ almighty, there you go. Unbelievable, and it was a chimp all along. So anyway, right, so the woman's like, um... We're never doing this again. Checking out the news, right? There's n there's nothing on it, she checks out XFM Monkey News. Right, okay, I'll I stop you there again. It. Right? If it turns out, she doesn't the news, right, and the circus goes, we're looking for our <laughs> chimp, it used to ride this tricycle, and it escaped with police chasing <laughs> no, it. No, no, no. So she listened to XFM, see if I'd picked up on the story. Yeah, sure. She didn't, I didn't have it and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with the organisers of the London to Brighton bike ride, said, look, saw a little airy fella. Why did she care? Because she wanted to know, she thought it was a bit odd. Well, Turned why out it was a chimp, they weren't happy about it. Of course not. Because now the owner of the chimp wants to enter it into the Tour de France. In, uh, in oh, 2005. <laughs> now, a couple of questions. I, I trust you'll be able to answer these. One. Oh, God! How, Steve, help me out. How did it get hold of the tricycle? I don't know. Okay. Don't okay, know. no, that's fine. That's, that's, that's not an important know. point. Like, that's important. How What's the matter with you, Steve? He doesn't know that. How did it know <laughs> to. Uh, well, firstly, how did it know which way to cycle, but more importantly, how did it know there was a major bike ride on following, Just following the crowd, no, Steve. No, What's the matter with you? The owner of it had trained it and so <laughs> on. <laughs> no, he hadn't! It had already done the run beforehand, before the big day. No, it hadn't. Um, 
Uh, like I say, it wants to do the Tour de France in 2005. No, it doesn't. Um, but there's something about animal rights. If if they don't let it enter, you, they can kick up a bit of a fuss. <laughs> Is that it's cruel to make a tube ride a bicycle? Not, Not if he that wants it's to. prejudice that it go, is it because I is hairy? You idiot! Right. So. Wow, that is the worst. That is the worst <laughs> one yet. Absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish, Carl. Have you got a tricycle? <laughs> Steve. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Okay, monkey related news from Carl Pilkington. Right. Uh do you know the monkey that went into space? Yeah. Yep. It happened in nineteen fifty eight. Right. Now you know that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What did he do next? What well did what did the do monkey next? do next? Yeah. One appearance on uh, Celebrity Squares and it was like forgotten. Right. Uh, yeah, cut a no novelty record. Yeah. Well, just like Rick Waller. I'll tell you what happened. He uh <sighs> he got back. No, that <laughs> Got back. <laughs> Heroes welcome. NASA sort of said, you know, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where a lot of people think, think you know, it all ended. Sure. Yeah. But NASA were like, well, hang on a minute. We spent he's a trained. lot of time, we've trained him up and stuff. So he's like, you know, he's saying, sure, sure, you know, I've learned a lot, I've still got it all, I've kept it all, I know what to do. So they said, right, we'll use you. So he turned into like a bit of a trainer. <laughs> we want to send you out on the top of an organ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put you, on this little bellhop outfit. <laughs> could you smoke fags? <laughs> yeah. I'll have a go. So, it was, they were getting in new monkeys. You know, the, the main man at NASA was saying, can you teach these the same? He's going, of course I can. Do you know what I mean? I remember it all, I know what's going on, I'll tell them what button to press, what to do in emergencies, that sort of thing. Um, it was technically, sort of, employed by the army. Right, can, I, can I just can I just fit in here? I, I, I don't know the story, Carl, and I, I might embarrass myself here. You've got an army of people out there that have probably sent me uh, an equally um, deranged email from a different website, but I'm pretty sure when they sent the monkey into space, it was to monitor his physiology. He didn't he didn't <laughs> press any buttons or learn to dock or take off. It just it was just the effects of weightlessness and space on um, basically a primate. I'm pretty sure. He was tied in with electrodes to mm. his head. Mm. So, yeah. well, yeah, I'm pretty sure. No, I people, could proved, but even on. if that were the case, and he had learned to press one or two very basic buttons, definitely not. Definitely but not. Even if it were the he case, I'm pretty certain not. they wouldn't have brought him back to train up Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> right, definitely. Go on, but go him on. Going, Neil, what are you going to say when you come out there? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Well, I was thinking of just saying, <laughs> I'm on the middle. Hello, it's made of cheese. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't what say about? That. I've noticed that you got little legs, yeah. right? But mankind stepped forward. Well, how could I put that? I was just going to say, oh, I'm on the moon. It's great to be no, here. I wish you no, were here. I've got things over there. Mum. Yeah, go on. Anyway, basically, he got back. They sorted him out with a nice pension. Mm -hmm. He was happy. Um,. Because of, like, the rank that he got, he, the, he was like, you know, he had loads of, uh, medals and stuff, he said, <laughs> right, we'll make him a colonel. He got that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. like I say, he got a pension, um, how was it end? He died in 1969, he was ba uh, buried with his wife. He passed <laughs> away. <laughs> his wife! Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right. Uh, right, they were filming a... Documentary, right? This telly company. Yeah. Doing a documentary. Hey, which one? Which one? Which I one? Don't know. No. Right, what was the documentary about? About monkeys. Yeah. Uh, where was it? Where Africa. was it? Africa. Right. Where? When was this? I haven't got a date. <laughs> okay. Recently, though, since the advent of television, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, a bit of extra monkey news if you, <laughs> if you want it. Okay, always. Do you know the um, monkey news extra? Go on. Do you know the Halfords ads? Halfords ads. I don't think so. No, what happens? Halfords. They've, they've, uh, you know, they sell nuts and bolts and stuff. Right. Uh, they were using monkeys in the ads. Okay. Um. Yeah. And what yeah. happened? Pack it. Don't they sell bikes, Halfords? Well, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> Bicycles and, and motorbike stuff in that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so they're using monkeys in the ever What happened? <laughs> I can't handle it. What? I can't do this. Look what? at him. Look at him. <laughs> I don't care what he's doing. And it, well, basically, right, they've, uh, the, uh, there was a load of hassle because they were using these monkeys in this alpha advert. <laughs> yes. Right. And what happened? Get to the point. It turned out there wasn't a problem because there were mechanics in the first place. 
<laughs> what, they were monkey mechanics? Yeah. What are you talking about? Mental. Why are you talking about? That's not a well, story! Anyway, listen, let's get, let's get back on <laughs> to it. They were mechanics in the first place. <laughs> right, listen. Right, so they're making this documentary. Right? And, uh, they stumble across a, a little gang <laughs> of, uh, little gang- <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it, please. Little, little gang of monkeys. That's yes. the first time I've ever laughed. I'll hear that. <laughs> I know. Well, brilliant. What do you want? A cake? <laughs> Come on. Can we play a song? Oh. I don't understand what is wrong with you, you freak. It's making me laugh. <laughs> Just tell us the story. All right, then. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, right, so there's this, this documentary being made. They found a little gang of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> right, play a song. I don't know what's going on here. I apologise. Got a high you love away. According to the Beatles on XFM 104.9, I'm looking your with me, Steve Merchant. Right, Carl, come right, on. Where, Monkey where news. Where Everyone's we? composed. The jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that. Monkey news. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Right. right, where were we? We were just start again. There's some people making a documentary. <laughs> for what? Okay. For making a documentary in, uh... In the jungle and that. Right. Stumble across a little gang. <laughs> okay, okay, come on! Alright. Um A little gang of monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! So the camera crew are there filming it. Yes. Everything's going normal. It's nothing awful. nothing yeah. odd about it. Okay. <laughs> they don't they're not running a restaurant, they've not got any barber shops, <laughs> nothing. No. Just regular monkeys going about their business, yeah. So anyway. Uh mm. the what what normally happens is the monkeys Sleep with a partner. They <laughs> already <laughs> <laughs> do what? They, they don't sort of sleep around and that. Once they oh, find, well, they the, were, once they they find the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever, yeah. they, st they stick with them, right? <laughs> okay. But anyway, they were watching this one, right? And, uh, it's, it's going around a bit, sleeping around. Oily. Oh, really? And it was getting fatter. <laughs> they thought, this is a bit odd. Yeah. Right? So, uh, followed it round. <laughs> and, uh, see it having it away. Turns out, little prostitute. <laughs> 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 ah! Oh God! It's a little <laughs> monkey prostitute. It was getting fatter because it was charging them bananas. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of old rubbish! Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, you f are you uh, familiar with Undreth monkey? Keep the talking. Undreth monkey. Undreth. Oh, yeah, like as in like uh, one more than ninety nine. Hundredth. Yeah. The one hundredth monkey. Yeah, are you, are you familiar with that? No. No. Oh. Uh Anyway, thanks, that was well, monkey news. We'll uh, next then. week, Adam and Jeff. What do you mean you're gonna leave that? Well, I thought it was a popular phrase or something. <laughs> what, hundredth monkey? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean a popular phrase? What, what, why? What? Cause you're gonna do songs and phrases with it next week. We've said it once before, hundredth monkey. <laughs> no, it's just a, uh, it says the expression hundredth monkey. Well, do it, it anyway, what's the story? From, well, it's from the 1950s, right? Mm. And the way that they got it because, um, <sighs> they were following some monkeys about, right? And decided <laughs> who was who was who was journalists. Oh yeah, why? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> just to see what what they're up to. Right? Okay, so there's always some monkeys around. Yeah, <laughs> what was it? What a documentary. Anyway, one of them. Come on, come on. One of them washed some potatoes. Right. Okay. Right. Let's leave that. Right. Let's leave. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. A monkey what? washing potatoes. Can we leave that one? No. Leave? No. It's You've got to do it now. <laughs> they're they're following a what is it? Like, like, sort of Follow, like a family. A is it a family of monkeys or? It was, a... it was just one chimp and it was washing a potato and they thought that's a bit odd, right? Yeah. And oh yeah. It, it turns out that 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 ended up teaching another monkey. Yeah. How to wash a potato. No, they do it. They do. They go down and wash them in the sea. Because they like they like the taste of salt. And the it's, weird it's, thing it's, is though, they when, pass it, got, on, when on. it got to the hundredth monkey, right? Even though it hadn't been taught how to wash a potato, yeah. it automatically knew. It knew what to do. What I don't do you know mean? What, you're what about. do you mean? It, it was in them. It was in them that, that they knew that when they get a potato, they had to wash it. That isn't the monkey news. I'm just I'm just saying that's where the expression comes from. But you haven't even heard of that. So well, there's a couple of things there. That it could be a, a, another upshot and. You know, an instinct is, is part of your genetics and anything else. Watching a potato. But, but you can't pass on acquired characteristics. So that's nonsense. If you mean that, uh, someone was taught they had a child and it knew it. There's no, there's no chemical memory right. as such in some So that wasn't the monkey news. No, the, the monkey news, you know, we've, we've covered a lot of stuff. There was sad, <laughs> there was sad, sad stuff, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, there's some funny stuff in there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Do monkey news! Robbers and that. Um, football team. 
A monkey football team? Yeah, in, mm -hmm. uh, Costa Rica. Oh, yeah. Uh, got all the, uh, got all the team members there, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all the different things. Um, little goalkeeper. Apparently he's on transfer from some other club. But the bit that got me attention is, apparently he's a holder of PhD of physics. <laughs> Do you want to look at that? Oh, the goalkeeper? Yeah, just the goalkeeper. The, the others haven't done that much. <laughs> the others haven't done that much? Well, I believe that he's got better exam results than you, Carl, but I don't believe he's got a PhD in physics. Good Obviously. Guy. Do you know what the name of the team is? Coconuts. What? Where's the monkey news? It's, it's been a bit quiet, and I, I've been. What, in the last an three out. months? Okay, uh, there was something that I found last week about uh, one that was in an old people's home. Um, <laughs> it, it escaped from some zoo, it was wandering about, it was enjoying itself, and then when it got to the night time, it was like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> and the first place it came across was like this old people's home. Yeah. Went in there, I think it was there for about a week and a half, <laughs> without anyone realising. No. No, no, no. No, no, it did. No, what, what, so, so the, the helpers and the nurses and the, the social workers and the, the matrons and all that, they thought, well, uh, Mr. Sanders looks a bit hairy, <laughs> but I mean that happens. You, you know, it comes out of your ear and your nose when you get to about seventy. <laughs> and he stooped over. Yeah, of course he has. He got bow legs. Yeah, and he eats more fruit. Of course he does. Well, that, that's when they that's when they realised. Why? Because the someone in the kitchen said, "Hang on a minute, getting through more bananas than we know." <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, you. F yep. Right. Um. I haven't read this through properly, so oh, I'm, oh, no, no, I'm just oh, assumed that. Right. What do you mean you haven't read it through well, properly? Basically, right, it's it's um it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people it's like the new way of meeting people and that in it now, chat rooms. You get on there, you can Right, if you say someone was having a, a <laughs> meeting with someone, they wanted to meet it. Right, okay. Please don't preempt but, it. Right, there is no there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate matter, understand. Does, do you want to know the story? <laughs> You and said, that, you said that Did they get married? It was three months later, she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what I want a divorce. This is what annoys Bobo. me. Bobo. <laughs> you, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they're, if they're given the time. No! That's let's not it! Let's not get into the it's whole It's a Shakespeare philosophical monkeys. conundrum. Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the. It's about. Well, yeah, yeah. Infinity. All right, so this one, this one then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh, you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right, so certain keywords come up and Who's that, that Dr. Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were they were looking over it, trying to look for, for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like really strange things, like instead of saying, do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar, right, it'd be like... Do you want to meet in a tree? What tree do you want to meet? Right, on? okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? That's the end, yeah. I'll see you later, mate. I'm just gonna listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit, honestly. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's online. Let's, let's well, hear uh, the rest uh, of it. How, you, you are, you're nearly, you're, you're ill, you're nearly, you you, okay, right. well, I don't have the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. Um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying where something's sexy, they'd say, make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute. Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now because you can't find it anymore? And instead of saying, should we get married, they're saying, how swollen and red is your ass? <laughs> you you know stupid fool. Do you no, know that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what is annoying. What? Steve's telling me about a film that is about a monkey going off with a woman. Mm. The Charlotte Rampling thing where she It's a film takes... called Max Monomour. Yeah, she has an affair with a monkey. Go on. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You wouldn't like Don't it. Don't go, we can't go into You wouldn't like monkeys. it. You wouldn't like it. It's not, it's not like, it's, it's weird and it, you wouldn't, d Carl, it's not like a nature programme where he wears a bowler hat and can talk. Okay. The nature programmes that you <laughs> seem to see. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm gonna think <laughs> I haven't seen that one. <laughs> yeah, no! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do monkey news. Well, monkey news this week. Play the jingle. Um, oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you f- Right, it's about this monkey that was knocking about in the 1950s. Right. Um, just, uh, mm. it was known in the sort of <laughs> LA area. Right. Um, and apparently, um, again, I haven't really checked all this out, I've just picked up bits that, that look interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, wore a golden mask and like a cape and a, a leopard skin belt and stuff, right? So people didn't know 
he, he was, was a monkey. monkey. Of course they didn't know, yeah. He just thought, they thought he was this bloke who's going around and he was helping out crime situations and stuff. <laughs> right, you're an idiot. So, one, this disguise, that, that you see a, a, a three foot six bloke with arms the length of his body. No, well that's the funny thing, right? They knew, they sort of thought, it's a bit odd, you know, he's stocky, yet extremely flexible. Yeah, and hairy, because he only wore a mask and a belt. And a distinctive jawline and stuff. And then, uh, right. apparently, like, he used to sort of get to his... Nothing we say gets through, does it? You've, you've, you've decided you can just picture this you, monkey going you, around solving going crimes, and just it's... telling you. Let him finish the story. Time's running Jeez. out. So it sort of get to its crime by, like, swinging from the trees and stuff. Of course stuff, it would, right? yeah. Well, people just thought, it's a normal fella. Of course. Then what happened was, he... This is the bit that's gonna annoy me, isn't it? He helped some fellas out, like, you know, and for a reward, for a reward, they were like, do you want some money? You know, you've, you've helped save our lives during a crime and stuff. Mm. Do you want some money in that? And he just went straight for the shopping bags, got a couple of bananas and apples, <laughs> right? And as he was bent down, looking into the bag, getting the bananas and apples, they pulled his mask off, little monkey. So he wasn't allowed to work for the police anymore? It, it ended there. Sure. Weird, no. Well, my mum sent me some. Right. right. I got a little letter from her doing the usual sort of stuff, telling me what she'd been up to and that. Uh, it was a little thing about, uh, somewhere in Lincolnshire or something. Right, good. To do a bit of, uh, do a bit of monkey throwing. <laughs> God, uh, what do you mean? Because some fella got attacked by one once, and sort of to remember him, on this certain day they go, oh, it was today, wasn't it? And that fella got attacked by a little monkey and that, and the, uh, something about chucking monkeys about. That's horrible. I don't know if they're real, I think it's just like to remember. All right. But that's, that's the only sort of stuff that's knocking about out there. <laughs> but it's not, that one, that's not I've got monkey my mum and dad on it, looking all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there must be more monkey news than that. There isn't, nothing go I mean, there's, there's bits and pieces, there was a bit about Donna Rare, how when she has a kid she's gonna let a gorilla look after it for a week or something. But apart from that, it's, that's it's dead out true. there. That's probably Well, I don't know what that means. She's, uh, well that's it. Apparently well, it's not true. She's not gonna let a gorilla look after a no, child. No, it is. Apparently a, a fella works with him or something, and, uh... This is rubbish! It's not rubbish. How can she let a gorilla look after a baby for a week? Well, forget it. Sorry, have you ever heard her speak? <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you Right. Now, uh, it was back in the 1980s. Right. So it is quite topical, then. Mm. Um, okay. When did this happen, then? 1980s? Yeah. Yeah. It's about a, uh, Colombian F1 sort of, form you know, Formula One driver. Yeah. Uh, apparently these races were going on, right, and, uh, someone kept winning them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, okay, forget it. Forget it. No, don't do it. It's, cause it's rubbish. Cause it's rubbish. Right, so someone kept winning the races. So, uh, uh, this, this, um, this someone, this, this human, um, that kept winning the races. Th so this human being that kept winning the races, um, Carl, what was his name? Um, his name is it? It's Jimmy something. Yeah. How oh, tall is he? Well, Does that mean to us? No, 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 Sh never showing his body that's or right, face? That's right, that's right. Never you're took joking. his helmet off. <laughs> you are a- you're an idiot. Never took his helmet off, right? You know- you know the short trousers he used to wear? <laughs> the, you, know, his, you know his trousers were about a foot long, but his shirt- the, the sleeves are really long! Anyway, right, so because he wouldn't take his helmet off- and You're he an idiot. In, he was in- he, he was taking part in like yeah. the F3, which is like the lower ranks yeah. of Formula 1 and just that. Just get to it, just get to- Everyone to thought it was like a, a famous driver yeah. who was just taking part get, in that. get to being a monkey. Anyway, what happened on. was, uh, there was a crash one day. Yeah. And the car tipped over, everyone's like, oh. He ran up a tree? <laughs> so- They were suspected when he ran away with the ambulance people up a tree and started eating a banana? So the marshals ran over and the ambulance people were there and they yeah. were about to take his helmet off and the marshal was like, don't take his helmet off. Yeah. Give away the secret that he's a monkey. Give away the secret like, and that. Yeah, chimp. Yeah. Took his helmet Jimmy off. Jimmy Chimp, Jimmy Chimpers. <laughs> Little monkey under there. No, definitely not. Okay, let's play Ryan Alone. Did, did he survive? Was Let me yeah. just cover questions. Did he survive? Yeah, yeah he did, yeah. He, he, he was allowed to keep all the awards that he won. Sure. But he wasn't allowed to take part in any other races. Yeah, didn't happen. Uh, Little monkey. Um, what happened is, it's this plane, right? Aeroflot, I think it is. Russian airline. Um, <laughs> having a good, having a good flight. Everything's going normal and that. This is going to be libelous. 
the, the pilot, sorry I mustn't interrupt my son, the, the, was, how tall was the pilot on this flight? Okay, listen, we've had a few complaints, people saying, don't but, interrupt, don't uh, interrupt Steve. monkey news. Okay. Don't interrupt okay, monkey I news. Okay, I won't then. Through. It's like okay. the weather girl complaining while Trevor McDonald's doing that. Okay, alright, go on then, like. go on then. Alright, so, uh, the, you know, the flight's going well, food's been served and all the rest of it. Anyway, someone gets upset about not having many nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Right. right, they've not got enough nuts. Oh, they, okay. hand the, they hand the nuts out and that. One of the sort of passengers is going mental. Because what, what's, he, what's he saying? He's just, he's just what going What language mad. is he talking though? Is he Russian or English? So anyway, there's a bit <sighs> of a fight going on. A fight starts happening. People are going, what's up with that little fella? Right? The little hairy bloke. So, uh, they, they sort of drag what's wrong, him. What's wrong with Bob Hoskins? And why is he screaming? Why isn't he talking in his usual Cockney accent? Why is Bob Hoskins screaming and grabbing at nuts? So, um... You've ruined it. Now, right? Come on, come no, on! Forget oh, it, forget right, it. Right, right, I'm ruined. Right, Rick, turn his microphone off. Okay, can't interrupt you. Right. So anyway, so there's a fight going on. Knots are going everywhere. Right. So um, anyway, so they they manage to tie him down. They get him on the floor, tie his legs up, and that. Right. His little legs. Get him to the. Get him. <laughs> Come on, come See on. you later. Have a good Christmas. No! Oh, how dare you? Finish the story. All that happened is they got back. Uh, it turned out that he shouldn't have been on the plane anyway. Why? His passport wasn't valid. Right. Um, and you can't cause problems on planes and that. So he got put in a cell for a bit. Turned out it was a little monkey. All right. Quick question. How did he complain about the shortage of nuts? Yeah. He just was going mental. Right. He didn't actually call over a stewardess. He just. Well, how did, he, how did he get on the plane first? Right. What ticket did he have? Have a good Christmas and that. But yeah. you know it's rubbish. You so must right, know that's rubbish. All you must best. know that's rubbish. All the best. You must know that's rubbish. About this this woman monkey who was born in 1834, <laughs> right? Half monkey, half woman. No, not true. It happened apparently. It was Impossible. In the, it was in the Daily Mail, right? <laughs> okay. The Victorian ape woman was a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I christen uh, this uh, thing <laughs> Victorian ape woman. Well, we thought Sandra. No, I'm calling it Victorian ape woman. She was about four foot. No, didn't happen. She had lovely thick black hair on her head and on the back of her legs <laughs> and her arms. Yeah, yeah. All right. So stockings. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, and she didn't need a bustle because of her huge ape-like ass sticking out the back of her dress. <laughs> she was good at reading and sewing. Um, well, they, the well, good because they didn't have opposable thumbs. So uh, uh, she could speak three languages. Yes. She, uh, was human, monkey, and monkey human. Twenty offers of marriage. Does that annoy you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Uh, right, there's this monkey, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think his name was number six or number seven or something, right? In this, in this lab, right? Yeah. And, uh, anyway, it's in there. I <laughs> wear the, like, you know, the rabbits and little mice and stuff like that. And, uh, the well, nurse, smoking. The nurse, right, the nurse, not, well, not the nurse, the, the, the woman who works in the lab, what would you call her? A nurse? Depends. What, was, what turns out her job was, if she was a lab assistant, you call her a lab assistant. Right. I mean, they probably call her by her name. All right, lab assistant, right? Kirsty. So, uh, so she's... I think it's Ker probably Kirsty. Right, Kirsty yeah. Morris. Well, she's in there, right? Yeah. And she doesn't work with many people and that, she's mainly on her own with, you know, just putting lipstick on rabbits and stuff like that, right? She ever fancies it? <laughs> so, uh... <coughs> Chim fans here. He's putting on lipstick chim fans there, so got hairy legs. He gets, he gets pally, right, <laughs> with, with this woman. <laughs> because, you know, he, 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 he gets to a point when she sees him every day. That's the way he tries to string out like it's a narrative love story. Let, Did the, chi the chimp put his hand out and grabbed her, and then you're thinking that he made a move on her? So, right, come on, he's, allowed out, he's allowed out. Oh, it's not a story, is it? He's allowed out the cage and what have you. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, he's wandering about, and as time goes on, he's watching what she's doing more and more. Yeah. Right? So, he, he notices, like, the code on the door, right? <laughs> Right. She, whatever, two, four, seven, or whatever. Yeah. And he goes, right, I've clocked that, I've got yeah. that, I'll remember that, right? Mm. And then he goes, right, there's a Definitely lot of lipstick not. and that knocking about, a lot of makeup. Right, okay. No, no, no there's no, no way. Finish. No, because so, Steve, you know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. So he's there. It's and ridiculous. He's and he's finish. going, well, if it's there, you know what I mean? So, so while she's messing about with the rabbit, he gets there, he's in front of the mirror, putting a little bit of lippy on. <laughs> that, right? <laughs> No! I it's gone too Turn far! Right. No, it's gone too far, Steve! Right, Your mic's off, Rick. He's finishing right. the story. So Turn mine off as well. It's, got it's looking pretty good. I didn't mention the mascara! It's looking alright, right? So it knows the code on the door, 247, right? So when she's sort of messing about with the rabbit, 
right? He goes, right, here's my chance. He's looking good. Two, four, seven, out the door. Your man's there. He's like, all right, Kirsty, right? <laughs> Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news, ya f- Right, well, uh, this monkey news story, right, it's about, uh, this fella, a couple of fellas in Texas. Yeah. Uh, sort of running a, uh, running a farm. Yeah. Right. Just because they, they're definitely fellas, well, they're, they're, how tall <laughs> yeah, are they? Yeah, no, Can no, we no, just, just let okay, they are human beings, these they're, two are human beings. Times against they're us. They're running, right? running this farm and that, and, uh, oh. anyway, so they're outside getting the cattle. And they, he turns around, right? He says, that cow's... A couple, <laughs> couple of monkeys walking about, so he knows what's going on, right? Mm. So anyway, so, it's in Texas, they don't know what to do with the monkeys, there isn't a zoo, it's fairly barren there, isn't it, you know what I mean, not much going about. Yeah. So the other fellow who runs the farm with him says, look, we need a bit of an hand, right? So, uh, Christ. said, let's teach them some stuff, and the monkeys were happy with that, because they were lost anyway, right? So they had- uh, <laughs> They had nothing to do. They were bumming around, they were looking for work. They'd hired a motorhome, they'd yeah. got out of their way. Maybe it's like the Hulk, they're like the Bruce Banner <laughs> exactly. wandering around, going, oh, I need some- need some work, you won't get angry, will you? So no. anyway, right, so they taught them- they taught these monkeys how to ride a horse, right? So they- <laughs> they've both got a- well, Sorry, uh, you're sure Charlton Heston's not gonna pop up? Both you're sure you weren't watching a video last night and thought it was a documentary? They've both got a horse each, right? They've been given, like, a little lasso and all that oh, business. Oh, yeah. don't talk right. shit, Carl. So, anyway, it's going well, and it carried on for about two years, this, right? It's it like, did. you know, r rounding up the cattle over yeah, night yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 So, um, the two fellas are chatting going, it's worked out well, hasn't it? Right. right, if there's a hostile takeover, and they sort of, like, buy up 51% of the shares so or something. So, said, for this to continue, the monkeys are getting old a bit now, we need, uh, we <sighs> need a little wom woman monkey in here to sort of get some kids going for, like, the future farm people. Forward right? planning, yeah. So they get a little woman monkey. They decided to only to hire monkeys from <laughs> why, not, why not? It's working. Why mess with something when it's not broke, right? <laughs> so they get they get the little woman monkey in. Uh, they have kids and all that business, right? Mm. But the problem was, right, when they first got the woman monkey in, it was like, well, which one's gonna have the woman? Right. right? So they started sort of fighting a bit and what have you. Yeah. But yeah. because they'd seen the owners of the farm don't, with, like, Don't guns tell and me stuff. the baby monkeys didn't want to go into the family business, weren't enough to be a lawyer. <laughs> they had a bit of a shoot-off. <laughs> Shut up! They got two monkeys, right? And Don't stop! Oh, because they'd seen the owners, they'd seen the owners with guns and whatever. Yeah, 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 no, no, that sounds that So sounds they had a, bit of, had a bit of a shoot off. Yeah. That's how, that, that's how they sorted it out. And who won? I think it was George. The one called George. Right. So they had, I think they had 17 kids. The farm's still running. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you. Oh. Uh, there isn't, uh, I've been away, haven't I? Oh. Uh, there's been no monkey news, you can't get- No, no, but I haven't had, had a proper chance to sort of, you know, uh, Carl, your monkey news is of spurious tales from the 17th century sometimes, <laughs> so let's have one of those. No, let's have a so monkey that, who dressed as Zorro and they thought he was uh, a woodsman, but when they took his head off he was only he was a four-foot hairy chimp. <laughs> let's have one of those ridiculous stories. Well, we've, we've done that, though. But, uh, do you want to go back on some of the ones? Oh, for sort of just recap, what is the monkey one? news? There must have been some monkey news this right. week. The only thing that sort of stood out, do you know, like, they're having problems. You're just making this up. Where's your information? Where's the piece of paper? Where's the document? What is this? Because I've been away, so I haven't got anything. Right, let's just hit, let's, 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 but let's it's hear bad enough out. when he's reading it, he gets it wrong. When he's just riffing, it's going to be absolute twaddle. Let's hear it out. Right. Do you know, like, they're having problems getting you. New, um, people to be policemen. Oh, fuck. Go on. They've, uh, in America, they're taking them on to, uh, sort of join the SWAT team. <laughs> They've taken what on? Some little monkeys. Okay. Uh, giving them walkie talkies and all that. And, uh. Well, they can't talk. <laughs> they're just walkies. <laughs> <don't have> to... <laughs> yeah, they're giving them some walkies. What do you no, mean? What, what was. Being given commands and that. And, uh, they go well, so it's one way. They they tell them they've got the little thing well, strapped to them. They're good at like getting into small sp sort of sort of you know small places and that and sort of you know cracking stuff and all that. Like I say, it's just half a story I just picked up on. That's not a story. Well, what do you want? Monkey news. Okay, we've got to sort this out. We didn't meet again this week, and this is a shoddy show. I thought we had a sort of framework for it, but, um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, I thought, be, you know, Carl could sort of tell him what was going on. He doesn't know anything except watching telly. Late night telly on strange channels, like he gets all his information uh, about the news on Ananova, and, I mean, 
I, I even tried to help him because um, Monkey News last week was awful. It wasn't Monkey I mean, News. It wasn't Monkey News. It was oh, I, I, I can't remember. On, it. I've been away on holiday. Brilliant. Yeah, and the m Monkey News stops. Uh, um, I, I phoned him up that on there was a, there was a front cover um, of the I think it was the Telegraph one day this week, and um, it was an ironic story. It was a fluff piece, but it was a funny story. It was about a um, a monkey in a uh, in a zoo that had had a a, a a ruck with its father because it's adolescent. It was like the equivalent of like sixteen to eighteen, and it had a fight with its father, and it escaped. It ran away, and it was like you know an interesting story. Yeah. I phoned Carl up and said, "It's a monkey news. Um, a monkey has escaped from its cage after an argument with its father." And he said, "What was the argument about?" <laughs> I mean, he thinks like Homer Simpson. Yeah. Amazing. What was the argument about? Like the zookeepers are going, oh, look, oh no, he's brought up his untidy room again. The father, <laughs> oh, look, he's caught him smoking again. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? What was the argument about? They have fights. Oh. They have fights, and then it ran away. His dad wanted him to go to college, but he just wants to quit and get a job. <laughs> yeah, and he, he fancied a monkey in the other cage, and the father was saying, "She's not good enough for you." No. Oh, so what was it about? News today? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of them. You got a little bit of monkey news, right? Yeah. You've redeemed yourself right. then this we, week. We've got some stuff there and that. Josh Rags, it's the night time on XFM 104.9. Uh, Steve Merchant, Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkington, um, and uh, what we what is, is it time? Is I it think time? I think so. Yeah. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Right then. So uh, there's this monkey, right? Right. In Canada, it's in a zoo in. Uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right? And uh, what happened was all the, the people in the zoo uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do? Uh, sort of spice the day up a bit. Right? Yeah. So they left. Embellishing. Uh, no way this is a new story. Let him read the news. Let him yeah. the news. Okay. So they. they left. Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news. Well, right? I, 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 interrupt Moira Stewart. It was an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she always says today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say right. There was a monkey, right? <laughs> right. Well, in then, Canada, on, right? Just finish right. Okay. Be all right. Co couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada, right? Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder, right? And they said, let's let's leave it for the uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with, right? So um, anyway, they, they passed Wh it around. One of BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were like filming the floor and all that, and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh. Annoys me that he calls them monkeys, though. He they're was, not monkeys, they're he apes. Was, he, was a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was like, uh, <laughs> filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. <laughs> no, he didn't! Just let. This is this the news? What are you talking about? This is the news. <laughs> God, so Steve, anyway. it's so annoying. You know it annoys me so much. <laughs> Things like that. He was a dab under. He was doing really good shots. It really annoys me. Let's Any, hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right, so he started, uh, at night, like, when the zookeepers went home, he started filming, like, other monkeys on, on the go, like, like, whilst they were at it, right? And he was filming them and what have you. <laughs> the and Ron Jeremy of I the zoo. It. You yeah. know it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> So anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So, oh yeah, um, this is, uh, uh, honestly, so, <coughs> you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So Can I stop him now? So they thought like, uh, actually there's a few monkeys who, who aren't at it enough. Do you know what I mean? They have problems and what have you, so let's give them the videos. That is so it. untrue! This is so untrue! So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey! So it's what what so then, untrue! Then, right? Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> So oh God! Uh, you're talking so much shit again. So you must know that's not true. There's so no way. There's a load of tapes out. Look at me! Honest. Look at me! Don't keep talking. Look at me! Yeah. You must know that's not true. Can it's we just hear, hear the end of this news? You. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story. You're still not happy. There is no way mm. that b by chance one all this. Oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Right. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, 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 two, they go. Hold on, oh, yeah, this is good stuff. This is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. He's got a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So oh, this got, is ridiculous. So let me just these... recap because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's, they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him saying stuff? Can you go? It's like, just like you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes um, because what happened was 
um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh, and, and the animals, God! And the animals are, uh, happy having him around because he's not a human, he's just one of the gang, do you sure. know what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like, you know, ostriches. Right. Uh, and talking <laughs> shit. I, I there was uh, so, and you know they have a problem with pandas in in Japan. Yeah. So they've they've sent him out there, filming uh, filming a bit. of- Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, honestly, you 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 really annoy me. There's Come no on, way this is happening. Can we it's just near the end. Why can't he just find a real story about a a a, a, a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end. At the end is he's really, in China. He's going to China. He's, he's filming the pandas and what. No, he's not. They wouldn't send a so, monkey director. Oh, they would now. not it's send a monkey director. Pointless. Right, so anyway, right, I think it's in, uh, in L.A. this happened, right? I think. Why, why does he think? Uh, so these people are in a, in a restaurant having a lovely meal. <laughs> Is one of them short and hairy, but it goes, <laughs> totally covers from top to bottom in a spacesuit so he didn't know it was a monkey? It's not uh, one of the customers, one of the waiters? So, th so they're having a, having a lovely dinner, probably one of the best sort of dinners they've, they've had, right? Mm. So the waiter comes over and it's like, you know, can we just say that I had a lovely meal and that? Right, it's the chef. Because it is. So, can we see uh, the chef? Yeah. So, so can, can we just, you know, see see the guy who cooked it? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Short fella, hairy. So, the waiter, the, said, to be honest, the, waiter, much. the waiter said, look, he's busy, you know, he's got meals to cook and what have you. He hadn't really got time. He said, it only took a minute. He said, no, I prefer, you know. So this like, is a restaurant in LA that I'll, serves brilliant food. I'll pass, I'll pass your message on and what have you, right? So, um. So he sends for so, uh, monkey Pierre White. So it's a bit odd, anyway. <laughs> So, so they go, so they go out, right? they go, uh, they go out to the car and they notice the, uh, the kitchen doors open. Yeah, right? yeah, of course they do, because they're, they're going to discover something that I don't know. So they they're just, hold on, this, um, just, just out of interest, this, uh, the, where did this, um, chef train before, before we see him or reveal, you know, what he might look like or like to eat, yeah, um, uh, um, so well, anyway, so, uh, so they pop their head in and think, we'll just, we'll just nip in and go, yeah, you know, love, love, love fruit salad or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So they stick to that. See the human, we better see the human chef. <laughs> yeah. You never guess what. Go on. Monkey stood on a chair, right, cooking veg. <laughs> right, so anyway, so they're like, what's going on here? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? Questions? What do you mean he's cooking veg? What is he doing with it? Well, he's, he's stood on a chair by the, by the cooker and he's, yeah. uh, chopping, st chopping stuff. Oh, he's, he's chopping as well, no? He's just like isn't it? Yeah. He's got a little, uh, you know, he's, he's got the, the bosses in there, they're, they're like a bit shocked. So he's a bit panicking because he's got this monkey working for him. So they say to him, what's going on here? We didn't know this, this is what's going on, you know, you, why have you got a monkey cooking stuff? So he said, well, they it's Lily, a monkey, I should point out, who probably doesn't need instructions from its girlfriend. <laughs> uh, forget it. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! <laughs> right, there's this monkey, right? Yeah. And it had been, uh, do you know you hear about monkeys being badly treated and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. So, uh, anyway, it goes into this, this home. It's fourteen, this monkey, it's called, uh, Matty, right? Goes into this home where it's looked after. Um, what do you mean, home? Just like, uh, just a little monkey home, right? Okay, so, so zoo? Yeah, kind of, yeah, but they haven't got any other monkeys there, right? What have they so, got there? They've got just other animals and that, but, but not that many monkeys. But anyway, because, mm. because he's there on his own, again, you know- it When you say monkey, do you mean a chimpanzee, by the way? Because you usually do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so, can't believe that, um, journalist thought this was scripted. Amazing. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, so it gets, it gets sort of pally with the people working there and that, and, uh, it's smoking fags, it's having a drink at night and all this, right? What do you mean it's having a drink at night, huh? <laughs> it's all here. It's all here. Steve, I mean, we haven't really got time, but- Well, you know, let's say it's all here, like it's proof. You've got another stupid story that no. someone has put onto the internet. Someone sitting at home in their bedroom mm. has put onto the internet. So it's having a yeah. fag, it's drinking a lovely glass of Bang Rock Station. <laughs> yeah. The wine that's perfect for a barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's loving life, it's forgetting about its past and everything, right? When this, this other monkey comes along. Oh. Oh no. Come on, brilliant. Go on. Right? That comes in, something's said. <laughs> <laughs> right, for, forget it. Monkey news. Right, this, uh, this happened in, uh, Pittsburgh, right? Uh, there was a rock band and, uh, they sort of, they've got this studio in, in Pittsburgh and what have you, mm. and they're laying down tracks and stuff like that. And in the, in the studio that they use, right, there's this, uh, this monkey works there. 
Cool. I love the way he throws that in. Like, cool. Like, cool. like, he throws that in, this monkey works there. No, it's just got a little gig there, he sort of, uh, it, it carries the equipment in, guitars. <laughs> no, like he doesn't. He does. No, uh, he doesn't. He just sort of cleans up after the band. No, yeah. he doesn't. Emptying the ashtrays. Doesn't that happen. Sort of stuff. It doesn't does. happen. That's, that's the gig it's got. Anyway, right? <laughs> Gets women out of the crowd that they want to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> with one arm. <laughs> so anyway, right, so the, the band's in the studio, yeah. right, and uh, one of the band members brings some A&R fella to the studio to have a listen to the latest track, right? Yeah. So they hit play, and uh, you know, they're all there going, yeah, brilliant, this is good. Oh, no. Anyway, so the fella says, yeah, I like the track, I uh, especially like the, the bass on it. <laughs> right, it's because it's bullshit. So, this uh, is rubbish. So, so... And they haven't laid down a bass so, track? So, so, this is... Have you heard it? So <laughs> the way, the, Carl, the please the don't is, do this right, to so me! So the A&R fella goes, and yeah. it's like, uh, it, the band members are stood about and they're going, that's good that he liked it. And I'm saying, yeah, but what's he on about with the bass? So no, no this is rubbish. This is absolute rubbish. Where did you get this from? Please, because we never Where get to the end. Let's hear this it. is absolute so, nonsense. So they played it back. Yeah, right? and it's the chimp playing bass. So, Definitely not. So they were like, that's weird, we haven't got a bassist. Anyway, so they go, well, oh, whatever, right? So we haven't leave. got a bassist! <laughs> so, they so, go, whatever, let's go. Oh, uh, forget it. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news! Right, there's this, uh, card game going on. Right. <laughs> In the, in the, uh, <laughs> a, 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 a big hotel in, uh, in Vegas. Right. right? The Lux, Luxor Hotel in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, there's a major car game, all the, all the big players and that. Sure. Were, uh, were involved. Mm. Right, they're all invited. Mm. Anyway, so they all, uh, they all meet up in this dark room at the back of the- Oh, <laughs> there we go, dark room. Dark room. But hairy fella. So, it was, uh, it was brilliant at poker. I'd yeah. say it's a, it's a big game and that everyone's been waiting for it, so it's played in the back room, not, not in the main entrance bit, right? <laughs> so anyway, like I say, it's dark in there and what have you, and, and the players went in, there was already someone sat in there, right? Right. But, uh, they couldn't, short bloke. couldn't, couldn't <laughs> quite see Was it a short hairy bloke with slightly <laughs> longer arms than legs? <laughs> couldn't see him where is, where, where his arms slightly longer than his legs, Was he uh, holding his hand of cards with his feet? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, oh, so God. the cards were dealt, right? Cards yeah. were dealt, games going on. <laughs> his cards with his feet! Game, game went on for hours, right? No, no one's listening. We, no, the th terrible thing is that not even we're listening to Carl now. I know. I know. No, no one, literally, no one is listening. It's so to insulting. Carl. There was a lot of smoking going on. It's right? going on. A lot of eating, a lot of eating and nuts going on. <laughs> that was a bit weird because they don't normally get through as many. But for this night, <laughs> so um, come on, let's just play Bruce. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right. Well, I thought we'd go for sort of a, a Christmas feel, right? So, uh, this one, it's, uh, it, it happened in Stockholm, right, a couple of years ago, around the mm. Christmas time. Mm. There's this little grotto, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Everything wow. he says is funny, yeah. isn't it? A, li a little grotto was set up and stuff, right, and, uh, it was getting busier and busier, right, this little grotto. There was only one in Stockholm, right? The queue was massive and stuff. Well, that's not true. And this, uh... That's not true, there's no, no but one... fine, just listen. But that's not, but that's not true. A couple of years ago, if you just said a thousand years ago... Yeah, it was, it was busy in that. And there was this bloke, there was this bloke who had a kid and the kid was saying, Dad, you know, um, can I go and see, you know, Father Christmas in the grotto? Yeah. And he was like, oh, I don't want to join that queue, it's too big, right? And, and loads <laughs> of the Father Christmases who was in the booth, they kept jacking it in because the queue was that big. What do you mean stressful. loads of Father Christmas in the booth? What Because booth? They, they got through loads in the, on, in the grotto, the Father Christmas and that, right? They couldn't act, act the, the pressure of the queues. The queues were massive for this grotto. This is rubbish! Right, so come they kept, on, come so on, they get, yeah. getting through like loads of Father Christmases. They just like, get walking off. People, they kept saying, I can't handle this, you'll have to get a new one in, right? Right, okay. Anyway, so this fella, right, the kid kept asking every day, can we go in there? He said, no, look, the queue's big. Anyway, one day, the queue was suddenly a lot shorter. Right, because they got a new little Father Christmas fella. I can't, I mean, I no, can't. right, well, in the right, grotto. Carl. If this Father Christmas turns out to be about so, three foot six and hairy, so anyway, right? So he's he's going. Come on, then we'll join the queue. Right? So he joins the queue, and he, he's, he's you know the queue's going down really fast. People are going in and out really quick. And he's going. How's how he managing to do this? Right? And he sort of looks through the curtain. He can just see a little <laughs> slight thing, and he can see the bloke who's like dressed oh. up as Father Christmas. He's handing him out with his hands and his feet and that. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> So they're going. Ah, no, I'm look. If die. you don't, I'm going to die. You, so oh God. anyway, so please don't interrupt the news, oh Rick. Oh I want to hear the news. Just, just <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so he's queuing up, right? And he's going, oh, he's good, good on him. You know, he's got a new method of handing out the presents and that. 
whilst he's queuing there, his little fella selling, uh, <laughs> chestnuts. So he thinks, oh, I'll buy some of them and, uh, you know, something to munch on whilst I'm in the queue and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, he's queuing up, he's eating the chestnuts, comes uh, to his turn, yeah. right? It's he, absolute he goes, rubbish. What, what are you on? It's absolute it's, rubbish. It's, so, it's, so, 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 cut a long story short, you reckon that they hired a chimp to hand out Presents, for Christmas and so you, you brought the chestnuts in, and so the monkey attacked him. Well, and he, he went off, right? And he's going, "Why is why is it all going mad?" And you're absolutely talking rubbish. There's a little fella that sat there with, uh, with like a little beard on and that. Yeah, yeah, and you're, uh, talking you're talking rubbish. You're talking rubbish. Well, no, no, it's, it's not. not it's not worth me carrying on then. No, no, it's, it's not, not worth, worth it, carrying on because it. Yeah. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Right, this is something that I do know about. All right, <laughs> if, if monkeys have been up to anything <laughs> in the world. This is this is what I'm on. Do you know what I mean? I'm on top of this. Uh, this one, it's, uh, pretty recent. Um, Monkey was knocking about New York. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he got, he got locked up for, like, uh, nicking stuff and all the rest of it, right? Anyway, that's the point. I don't story. know what, I don't know where I'd point this, point this. Well, hang on, Steve, Steve, if Steve I, does that But you know like what I mean, proper... if that's the opening gambit, uh, if I don't come in there, when do I come in? Right, you know I mean, if I don't pick him up on that, when do I come in? Steve, I can show you the original. Nicking yeah. stuff. Anyway, so, so, he worked on a plan. To escape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up! Right, and he'd, he'd worked it all out. He, he saw the like the, the the bloke with the keys and that. How do we right. know this? How do we know there. this? This isn't even the main bit of the story. I won't even worry about it. Because okay. you've, you've, Rick, you've please. no, because he's embellished and he's it, it, it's. So oh. anyway, I said this before. I'm going to say it now. You do not interrupt the news. It's the news. So anyway, right. So the monkey gets out. Is <sighs> uh is roaming about free. Word gets out that he's escaped and that right. The copper, I think his name's PC Wilcox of NYPD, right? <laughs> police Constable Wilcox of, right. uh, the New York Police. Police Constable Wilcox. Leave oh, it. Leave yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We've, Dixon, only got, we've only got a few minutes left, please. Dixon of Queens. So, he got a call to, uh, to sort of assist, uh, you know, this, this monkey roll. PC out. Wilcox of the L, uh, of New York please, PD. Please, Ricky! Because they were having problems catching it. Right? So he was so, so he was out on his motorbike looking what's going on. Anyway, mm. cut a long story short, he manages to catch up with the, with the monkey. Right. Why, didn't the monkey have a car? He got it, he got it in like a little alleyway. Why didn't alleyway. the monkey steal a car, Carl? Anyway, so he had yeah. him, he, he gave him the rights and everything, you know, everything he used to say and all that business. Yep. He said, well, uh, oh, whoa, 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 Steve. Oh, monkeys don't talk. So Carl, Steve. Carl, monkey, he didn't need to say anything you say, maybe take it down. So anyway, Carl, look Steve, at me right? as well. No, Carl, I'm just, look. I'm just telling Steve because he's listening. But Carl, think of what, what you're saying. He's stuff down. So oh. anyway, the cop, you know, the monkey's like fair cop, right? He's on the back of the motorbike being taken back to the station. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Wilcox gets a call on, PC on, Wilcox, on yeah. the uh, on the radio sure. saying, you know, uh, listen, there's been another problem. Oh no. Right? Will you There was a diversion, there was a gang. There was a there was a gang, right? Oh. oh. So he said, Can you go and sort it out? And he's like, Well I've I've got a monkey on my back. He said, Well, take it with you. Was he on right? drugs? So That's anyway. What, isn't that what junkies say? <laughs> so he goes down to the scene where it's all kicking off. Monkey's just sat on the motorbike thinking I'm not gonna try and get away, it'll just make the matter worse, right? He's sat there. <laughs> The gang- Hold on, was he wearing a crash helmet? The gang, uh, sort of, you know, he saw all that going off. Copper goes up- Sorry, was this a gang of humans? So, so anyway, so the, it's kicking off, right? There's a gang, and they're all having a fight and what have you. Uh, anyway, it gets out of hand because Wilcox, even though he, he sort of helps out the person who was being beaten up, the, he walks off, the gang starts picking on the copper. Oh no. So, the monkey thinks, best help out here. Oh! He goes up, oh, right? No. Anyway, cut a long story short. Yeah. He, they let the monkey off. He got keys to the city. Steve, how did you, he help out the policeman? Have a look at that. Have a look. There's the, there's the facts. There's We're the not. Facts. It's not facts. It never happened. That's the fact. I mean, everything about it's wrong. Everything about it is nonsense. Steve. Well, there's all I say is there's a picture here of a monkey brandishing a gun. If that's not truth, if that's not fact, have a look. Then there it is, right there. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right, what, what we're doing here is, right, is, uh, just giving you a bit of, bit of monkey news that's, that's gone on, right, where <laughs> a monkey's been involved in it. Good little story in that. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with the one that went into space? The first, uh, the first sort of thing they ever sent up there before man did it and all that. You see, this is what annoys me with it, really. Armstrong gets all the, all the glory, but do you know who went up there before, before him? A monkey. Yeah. yeah. Dog but, went up first. But what was the monkey called? Oh, I don't know. No, sure, okay. So it's not the most informed news bulletin. The dog was called Laika. Was it? Yeah, they couldn't get it back there. They sent it up there, did a few tests and stuff, and they couldn't get it back. They weren't, they weren't prepared to bring the capsule back yet. Brilliant. We could all do that. So is that a, is that a 
you know, is that a good mission? Well, I just think it was seeing what, if it, if, if the mission itself killed it, but they didn't have the technology, because of course it couldn't, it couldn't fly the capsule back, which it has to be manned to bring right, it. Right, well this, this was, this was the next one up then, right? So the dog must have gone first, and then they went, right, we made an error there, right? Get the monkey in. And what happened is they taught it, um, what buttons to hit at the time that it needed to hit them, and, and the way they did this was like, give it bananas, it was like, hit the red button, and, it hit the red button, they'd give it a banana. Right. And they go, right, reverse is the green one, hit the green one. And then they do that and go, there's a banana. And then they go, right, hit reverse, and it go, pfft, and get a banana. Right. Hit the red, so it was taking commands on, like, headphones. Right, but how were they giving it the banana? Is that how you learn to do radio? <laughs> <laughs> how were they giving it the banana? What do you mean? No, well, this was before it went. You wouldn't right. just go and put a monkey in it and go, there you go, get on with it. They'd sort of put him in one of them capsules that you get. Yeah. And they were th on headphones. I, I don't believe this happened. Well, I'm telling you the story now, so the monkey I don't sat think they trained it to do anything. I think they sent it up there and he put electrodes coming out of it to no, see what... what it uh, wasn't any of that. They did a thing like they do. Like, right. Like they can with animals. If you give something, uh, you know, like a treat, you can teach it how to do it. It's just like a dog, isn't it? It's when called you... Pavlovian conditioning. However... That was to see if it would salivate or go over to no, a particular it, corner, yeah. not if it could control a spacecraft. Next one up. It's the next one up. It, as far as the, the monkey's not sat there going, oh, I'm a bit under pressure here, it's a rocket. All that's knowing is, I'm getting a banana if he hit that button. That's all the monkey's thinking about. Right? <laughs> they wouldn't, but billions well, of space but dollars. how can they be sure that it's going to press the button at the right moment? Because it's got headphones on. <laughs> They're telling it. It's not like just, you have now. It's not like willy nilly. It's not just like pop it in. Willy nilly, there and see that. What's to stop it from just hitting it any old time? Because it's a monkey and it's, it's not a human. Because he's trained now. Oh, anyway, he's trained. So it's listen, fully trained. Yeah. Go so on. what happened is anyway. Oh, this is absolute rubbish. They pop the monkey in there. Yeah. It's got his headphones on. They go in right. Hit the green one. And uh, I think there's something there that a little banana comes out to keep the same. <laughs> no, you're making this up. I'm not. It's the same. There's no way that they made uh, a, a right, spacecraft so, so can, that had a banana dispenser. <laughs> right, There's so, no way in this world that they made a spacecraft that could go into outer mm, space, right? So what? So manned you're, so by you're, a monkey mm, with a banana dispenser. So you're saying that it's easy to send something up to space but you don't believe there's a little banana machine? <laughs> Right, okay, so in your world, in your world, uh, there's this, there's a monkey and it's been conditioned and so there's a little monkey dispenser, a mon uh, banana. Sorry, monkey dispenser, or a yeah, banana, banana dispenser, dispenser yeah. right? So it comes to the launch day, monkeys, monkeys sat in there, uh, everyone's ready, bananas are stocked up and all the rest of it. They go, right, hit the green button. <laughs> Right, and the rocket goes off and what have you. No, they would not make the monkey launch the rocket. Carl, so, you are you are living in a, so, a cartoon world. So the rocket goes off, right? <laughs> this is absolute <laughs> bollocks! It's all going well. You are, you, I mean, I don't know it's what all, you're gonna... It's, it's not going well. Going There's well. no way a monkey launched it's a going... rocket. There is no way a monkey launched a rocket, so you idiot. It's all going on, so they're going, hit the left button, and, it's, and it goes a little bit left. The left button? Right, oh, so... well-known spacecraft command. <laughs> this is Houston. Hit the left button. <laughs> oh, brilliant. This is what happened in Pyro 13. Hit the left button. So it, you it, are, oh, it you goes are. left. Yeah, it goes left. So it goes left, and it's, it's going away. Left! It's it goes going left! Up. Yeah. No, the moon! So You're going right! It goes, it goes for the moon, everything, everything's going well. Right. Uh, they get up there, it does whatever it does. It reverse, it comes back. <laughs> right? So then... You are, so, honestly, you are brain dead. So it's you long, are one of the most stupid people that I would rather have um, the monkey drive right, listen, me home than you. So the thing is, so it lands back, yeah. it does a good job and everything, it gets out, um, and this it's is, this sick is, of bananas. This is where, this is where it turns a bit sad, because after it's done that mission, yeah. right, because it happened and it, and it was all safe and everything, the next one would have been to send man. Right. So, the monkey enjoyed it and it was like, well, I want to do it again, right? But they were like... So how did they know that? How did they know just, what it was? Just the way it looked and what have you, it was <laughs> like... <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> just the way it looked! So, you, are, you are a maniac. So the thing is though, right, so after it had done that, it was on such a high, right, <laughs> yeah. it, could, it could never get that high again. Change there was drugs. nothing. There was nothing that it could do. Went on tour, did it? It, did, it, it sort of ended up killing itself. <laughs> because it could never, never get that buzz that it right, got. Right, that was absolute bollocks. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Right. Well, this this uh, this week, what we what we're covering is, um, 
Do you know, like they say, monkeys are pretty close to humans. Well, when you say monkeys, you mean apes, I assume. Well, and when you say apes, you mean chimpanzees. Just monkeys and that. Well, no, because they're different um, species. They're what all they've primates. Done, but... They've done a lot of tests and that. Like I said, you know, we've talked about the one that went into space. Mm, that was we've rubbish. Had ones that have worked in train stations. No. <laughs> So the barber, next, was there a barber one? There was a barber one. He started off sweeping, didn't he? But he didn't immediately go in. Straight in, but he worked his way up, yeah. Um, yeah do no, apprenticeship. They do, they do a lot of stuff. Um, I've seen the salon, he was probably the top student. But the thing is, it, you know, I mean, in a way, this is linked to the one in the salon. Mm. He could cut air, but he'd never be allowed to work on the till, right? But these tests that they've been doing now... Why? Are they not trustworthy? Well, they've, they've had problems understanding money, right? But they've, they've got one recently that they've been teaching about the value of money mm. and showing it that, you know, to get this money, you've got to work hard, you've got to save your money, mm. and when it's saved nice up, bollocks. you can <clears throat> do what you want with that money. Yeah, it wouldn't but happen. at the end of the day, these monkeys aren't on that much money. Yeah, so and they wouldn't, they, 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 you, could never, so, you could never teach a monkey the value of money. So, so the thing is, they've said to these monkeys, look, you know, there's your money. <laughs> they haven't said anything You're to only the monkeys. So they have, Rick. Please listen to the news. But <laughs> it's the news. It's the news. <laughs> it's important that you know they they know how to spend that money, right? It's basic <laughs> rules, really. It's what you teach a, a human about money, and it? it's the, what you teach kids. So about invest money, wisely, invest and all that. So who's teaching so these monkeys? Well, so uh, Carl, stop. Just some what? people and that. But who? Where are these monkeys? The monkey people. But but where are these monkeys? Where are these monkeys? I think it's in San Francisco. What is, well, where are these monkeys though? What are they, are, are they in the shop? Are they, what are they doing? Are they in homes? What are they They're doing? Just, just In like, a zoo? Well, probably just in like some sort of, uh, science place where science people are checking out monkeys' brains and that and seeing how they work. But they're happy, they're not This is them different that. to the, the news at ten. So listen, well, so- yeah, but you can't, you can't interrupt the newscasters for one thing, Rick. Please. <laughs> Sorry, go on. So, there's these monkeys, right, and they've given them some money, probably about five quid. <laughs> and they, they said, right, off you go. Uh, go shopping, see who comes back with the best, sort of, how much can you get? You know, like in- Ready, steady, Ready, steady, well, right. so there's a fiver, go and get some food. Anyway, some came back, and, uh, they were like, you know, they hardly had anything. <laughs> this is absolute shit. No, listen! They this is a Listen. But one of them, right, he, he was away longer, to be fair. Yeah. Right, he, he, I think he came back last. But, they were really impressed, because he sort of said, this is amazing that you've got all this. Can't believe it. Give us the receipt, right? Oh, this is absolute right, shit! Forget it, no, forget no, it. No, 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 no. This is absolute shit. shit. No, we want to hear no, the end. No, 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 no. no. Look, 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 hang on a minute, right? So they said, give us the give us the receipt and that, and they looked at it, and it was all official, right? And and they and they went through it all, and what they were really impressed by is the way that they always went for the sort of slightly older veg, where you get two lots. For the price of right, one. Right, you're absolutely. <laughs> so, and it just goes to show. This like, is absolute that, bollocks. Well, there's no then, way. There's no it. way. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Yeah. Right, this week the monkey news is about, you know, we all know, like, you know, there's monkeys knocking about that aren't happy in, right, this, in yeah. this country. Sure. It is a big problem, around. yeah, it's an epidemic. So they've, they've set up, like, this, uh, this sanctuary place. Okay. Where they all go. The ones that aren't happy in a zoo and what have you, it's getting them down. <laughs> Um, they can phone a number and they'll come and pick them up. Pop them in this this house place, right? And basically, they they can run riot in there yeah. to get freedom to sort of cheer themselves up. It's like don't have a go at them if they want to do such a thing. Let them have a go. And what have yeah, you, right? yeah. There's three people running this place, right? And one of them. So, it, where is this place for wayward chimps who don't like the zoo? What are you talking about? A house where they can do what they want? I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure where it is. That's not. That's that's a surprise. Go on. But 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 there's this place anyway. I, I, it doesn't matter where it is, does it? At the end of the day, I'm just telling you what, what the problem is. We haven't got to the problem bit yet. Go on. I'm just building up to it, right? Mm. So these monkeys, big house and that, PlayStation, uh, anything they want, gym, all that lot. <laughs> gym. <laughs> so yeah. uh, anyway, I'll cut to the chase, whatever. Mm. Uh, one of them wanted to mess about with the woman's breasts. Right? Which woman's breasts? The woman who works there. Right. Mm. Right. And, um, she was like, right, pack it in, you know, we've all had a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> you've been sure. in the gym and everything, she obviously, you know, got a bit excited and that. Up, he yeah. was fired up and that, ready yeah. for some more action and that. He's trying to have a go on, on this woman's breast, right? She was like, Have no. a go! She was like, no, you're not doing that, pack it in and all that. The boss who's running the place was like, 
Uh, come on, let him have a go. No, right, you're talking shit. I am, I'm telling you what, I know right. sometimes I step over the mark and they made right. it. Right, so where, where is this place where, well one, where is this house where chimps are allowed to throw one, and two, where is this place where one of the bosses, one of the human bosses, mm. suggests to the other one, oh, and if the chimp wants to play with your tits, love, let listen, the chimp play with what, his tits. What I've said before, Rick, will you please stop interrupting me? No, but listen, news? it's alright, Steve, because what I'll do, I'll bring the link and you can put the link on, on the website and people can have a look at the proper story. I'm just giving it in the light headline for me. They can read the full thing. No, you've only read the headline form. I haven't read it. I sort of read like, like the first. It paragraph. was probably monkey feels a right tit, and you've uh, extrapolated <laughs> all this from that. So anyway, right? So he's there, and he's so the boss says, "Yeah, you the can have a group." Saying, yeah, the boss is saying, "Let him have a Come go." Come on, Rita. If monkey wants to play it with nipples, <laughs> let him. So she's like, "I'm not happy with this," and he's going, "Come on, you know the rules here. We've got to cheer these monkeys up." <laughs> oh, <laughs> We've got this is absolute. We've fun. Fun. actually no, and and uh, in the end, because she didn't allow it to happen, the fella bloke sacked her. Got someone else in. This isn't made up. I will put the link on the website and everyone can have a look at it, but basically... I want to see the advert he put in the Guardian oh, oh. media page. I love that. Uh, woman wanted to let Jim feel tits whenever it wants. <laughs> well, it's all up there. You're talking absolute shit again. So anyway, that reminded me because we were talking about other amazing stuff that Ricky told me to find out about. Steve, are you aware of bonobos? We mentioned them earlier. I'm not particularly familiar with bonobos. Right. Yeah, it sounds like a cream cake. No, they were, they were, um, a, a, a sort of a, a chimpanzee, but more advanced than the, the, the traditional chimpanzee. There's a, they live, uh, uh, in one sort of particular area. And, um, you know, it's the sort of closest animal to the missing link. They're very intelligent. They take on a lot of social aspects of, um, human. They have sex for, um, pleasure mm -hmm. and no other. Steve's looking uh, annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> He's done, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, what did you find no, out about Apparently, him? I found out it's 98% not human, this kind of thing. It's nearly human, but it's not. We share 98% of DNA yeah, with it. Yeah, 98%. Yep. It's a higher percentage um, than you. <laughs> <laughs> they have sex for pleasure. They do look a bit like him, though. They've got a little round head, haven't they? But, and they um, sort of, they're much more upright than the, you know, got a more well, flexible. I, I sort of get bored with animals that are, like, classed as being... Intelligent, right? So when you tell me, because they're not doing enough, they're not exactly. playing no, no. Nintendo. Do you know? Do you know like that? People always rave on about dolphins, saying, yeah. "Oh, they're really bright and that." Yeah. You know, um, I was having an argument with Suzanne about it, and she goes, "Oh yeah, dolphins are really intelligent." And I said, "But what? What have they done?" So <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Well, they, they use them in wars. They strap bombs to the back to go out to boats. Yeah. So then blow up the boats. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. They're trained. Yeah. Well, that isn't that bright." If it was really bright, it'd go, I'm not doing that. Well, no, they leave them. They don't blow themselves up. They, ang anyway, but. All right, well. So anyway, so bonobos, um, really bright and that. Mm. Now, I was looking at them, mm. and they are, you know, they, they're saying, the the, you know, they, they're just like humans, basically, right? Mm. Well, what I was thinking is, I didn't have a chance to ask you, um, if you got a mentalist, Right. And put the bonobo in what an do you exam. Mean, what, okay, right, okay. What do you mean a mentalist? What do you mean? Well, you know, someone who's, you know, a little bit, a, uh, just a little bit slower than me, and put an put them in an exam, what would happen? Right, okay, you've got to be clearer here, Carl. What, what are you saying? Are you saying pit the wits of a bonobo against someone who's educationally subnormal? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> I, again, I don't know where to start. I, no, but like, if they're that good, why aren't they being used in, uh, in labour and stuff? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what, it, what, in the, in the late, what do you mean, in no, the government? like, you know, like, <laughs> some, some jobs that they could do. Why well, hasn't someone could, caught onto it and thought, well, hang on a minute. Sorry, I, I'm not familiar with the bonobo. Seriously, could it do a job of work? How, how advanced are these well, creatures? They, uh, lots of animals do job of work. I, I think Carl wants this bonobo to start going to work at, uh, with an umbrella and a bowler hat and uh, have sort of like rudimentary language skills like morning, <laughs> morning. <laughs> so, the bonobo, so I couldn't employ the bonobo to be my PA. It's um, not. I mean, how advanced are they? Could could I no. could I teach you to go in the shops and collect something and well, bring yeah, it? Yeah, but you can teach a dog to do that. Yeah. It depends what you mean by intelligence, social interaction, uh, also dexterity capability, you know. Could uh, it produce this show? 
<laughs> yes, I, I just thought it could randomly. Yeah, uh, um, just by pressing the buttons, it could do a better it, job. It's, it depends what you're asking, Carl. It, what I mean, what you mean is, it can a, could a chimp be a thick human at an intelligence test? Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. But it depends yeah. on what the problem with the with the human is, doesn't it? Right. Well, first of all, mental illness is nothing to do with intelligence. Let's get that straight. That's one thing. Mental people aren't necessarily less or uh, intelligent than people. Now, is that the clinical term? <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> a mentalist. A mentalist. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to start with wh where he's going wrong with the question <laughs> to answer it to find find out what he really means. Because it's just that if that did happen, right? So what if, did what could happen? You want the Planet so, of the Apes, right. don't you? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> go on. Right? I go to school, I go to a new school, yeah. I go in the class, there's three bonobos sat on the back row. <laughs> yeah. Right? I think it would make They're everybody- kids, are they? Everybody would work harder because you go, well, I don't want a monkey beating me. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas when I was so you think school, they'd be an incentive? Yeah. Well, I- yeah, I, I think- Okay, they go in and go, oh, go on, what do you mean? No, I would- I, I would have loved it because, I mean, one of the reasons I didn't like school is it's like, oh, I'm not bothered. You know, I'm not bothering going in today. I'd love it if- if I went in and- Someone said, right, you're gonna start coming again. Why is that? We've got three bonobos in your class. What if they didn't hang out together, like the two little, um, kids with the webbed hands well, and the big heads? What, what if they, they started bullying you? <laughs> Stealing your pocket money? Well, maybe- I go in, I'd Maybe copying in. you. Make, maybe making you do their homework. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did find out you- To be honest, it'd <laughs> probably be the other way round. <laughs> and he'd score better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, have you been copying? <laughs> have you been copying the bonobos have again? Have you been copying Boo Boo again? <laughs> oh, good though, isn't it? We've got a new feature, haven't we? Which one's this? Are we doing um, within the Monkey News the new oh, feature? Oh, Steve, I'm excited. You know, Monkey News is my favourite feature. So what have you uh, added to it? Explain it. Right. Well, uh, there's been loads of stuff going on in the past few weeks, right? Uh, but for the times when I struggle, when when sort of monkeys have had a quiet week, <laughs> and there isn't that much news going on, sure. right? Come up with this thing. I sort of speak to an expert. I've- I've spoke to him already. You right? spoke- you spoke to an expert? Yeah. A monkey expert? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I ask him a question. Wow. Right? The feature, it's got a good name, you know that's the way I work. Yep. Cheap as chimps. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. And what I do, I ask them a question about, you know, or oh, how much does it cost to, you know, keep one? How much does it cost to, you know, feed one for a week? Yeah. All this sort of stuff. So I, I give out like a monkey story, and if that isn't enough for people, they'll also learn something else at the end of it. Right. Yeah. So like... It sounds fascinating, can I say right now? Right. It's about, uh, a chimp, right? Surprising. Uh, I spoke to an expert about him. Um, Who was the expert? Someone at London Zoo. Okay. Um, how many bananas do you think the little chimp, what they've got at mm. London Zoo eats a day? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> How many is bananas it, is a is little chimp at London Zoo? Can I call in for this? No, I, I'd, I'd leave it. I'm just testing it out on Steve because we've already got an email thing going on here. So how many bananas do they eat a day? One chimp per day, how many bananas? Yeah. How many bananas does a chimp eat a day? And does this mean that, because sometimes I've seen them on the telly, they peel one, they'll just eat a bit of it and then they'll throw it away. We're talking a whole banana? How many bananas does it eat a day? Um, <laughs> how many bananas angry. do you eat a day? <laughs> getting angry. Come on. Well, I, I'll I'll try and have two if I've got time, but okay. I'm pretty busy. Well, I'll go <laughs> swinging on your tire. <laughs> how uh, many? How many do you? I have? think uh, a, a little monkey, a tiny little monkey, per day, uh, <laughs> over the course of a day, I reckon he probably eats fifteen bananas. Right, Ricky, what are you going for? Little chimp at uh, London Zoo. But hold on, the, but but presumably they don't only feed it bananas. So okay. it's so it's so the question is It's how many bananas does it eat? Come on. Yeah, Rick. but how many does it get given? It would eat fifteen if it was given fifteen, but it might be given a, one slice of banana, fifteen oranges, two hundred potatoes and some lettuce. How many bananas does it eat? Come on. It's Five. Just, have a guess. Five? Yeah. Right. It's only one. Yeah, because it only gets given one. Cheap as chimps. <laughs> what? So what? it's pretty cheap to have a chimp. Right. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on your side now, Steve. I don't understand what happened then. Wait, so, at the end of it, you always shout, cheap as chimps. <laughs> <laughs> is that... What, what, that's the quiz, is it? Alright. Right. right, we've done that. Monkey news. Right, straight, let's, let's, let's hit them dead. Let's go straight with cheap as chimps, Carl. <laughs>
Right, well, this 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 will probably finish today, to be honest. Oh, okay. Right? Because I, I, what if we looked at it, cheapest chimps, we found out that- They eat one banana next, go on, do this one. They eat one banana yeah. a day and that. Yeah, that's right, it, brilliant. So, so what- I, It was I, a long running feature, go on. <laughs> what, oh, sorry, can I just ask again, what are the rules with cheapest chimps? It's just, you know, if you wanted a chimp, how much would it sort of cost you? Brilliant. <laughs> right. <laughs> Title come first? So, yeah. Yeah. As always, that's the way to do it. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, cheapest chimps, I thought I'll go online and see, you know, if I could buy one. Mm -hmm. Uh, how much do you reckon? Six thousand pounds. To buy a chimp? Yeah. Oh no, a ridiculous amount. What, what, what where, where can you buy them from? What sources? You shouldn't be able to buy them. eBay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean, buy a chimp? From who? There was this website that was selling stuff. What, you could actually What, what are you talking- what are you talking about? Right, here we go then, right? I looked at it. Here's some of the other animals that were on there. No, uh, no, wait a minute. What, are, are these poachers? I don't know. What, the zoos that got bored with them? What, where can you buy a chimp? I can't, I don't want to give it a plug. <laughs> <laughs> right, some go website, on then. Right? Right. So what are the other animals available? Right, well, that, that, I'll give you some prices with the other animals, then you can try and work out if it's cheap as chimps, right? <laughs> so, uh, right, a camel. What do you reckon? Uh, £25,000. Right, £8,000. For a camel, uh -huh. right? Sloth, <laughs> forty quid. Three thousand dollars. Right. Last one, Bengal tiger. Oh, that's got to be pricey. Twelve thousand dollars. One thousand eight hundred dollars. What? Yeah. It's Carl, this is an awful website. That can't be true, mate. Right, that's so awful. A chimp. Well, Five thousand dollars. I'm going to go with um, <clears throat> one thousand dollars. Fifty-five thousand. What? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. So, but I don't know what the, I don't know what to say because this is rubbish anyway. What website can you buy? Okay, get me a tiger. Here's a grand. Get me a tiger. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're an idiot. If postage and packages and. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So where does the cheapest <laughs> chimps element come in? Well, that's. Sort Aren't of you supposed to up. shout? It's cheapest chimps at the end. Well, it isn't. That's why I want to finish the feature. <laughs> <laughs> Then. Well, uh, got an email from John. Um, you know, if you've got any monkey news going on in your area, uh, <laughs> <laughs> let us know. Podcast <laughs> Oh God, amazing! Just bung it on email, and uh, this one sent in from John. Don't know where he is, but um, do you know, like, they're running out of TV ideas and that. They're running out of TV ideas. Well, you know, they've, they? they've done a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. if, if if you were had to come up with a TV idea now. You struggle, don't you? Because every idea you come up with, it's kind of been done, hasn't it? Sure. Okay. Right? It's like inventions and that. <laughs> right? They're not so, getting monkeys to come up with TV ideas, are they? Well, no, right? But there's a, there's a TV channel in uh, in Moscow, mm. right? And I think they had a bit of bad luck or something, a lot of redundancies and that, right? And whoever was in charge of it got a bit mental and got rid of loads of people, right? Yeah. And uh, they come in the next day, and they were like, right, are we ready to go live and that? And someone comes running in with a clipboard saying, <laughs> we haven't got any people left, right, to present. That's such nonsense. Right, right, tell you what. Right, okay, carry on, carry on. So, so he goes, what? If just one employee <laughs> turns out to be Simeon and is doing a good job, I'm never doing this radio show again. So this TV channel, you know, it's, it's having a lot of problems and that. He, they've got to go live, right? He's like, what am I going to do? Anyway, for some reason, right, there was a chimp knocking about. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, that's the key piece of information. No, boy, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, does it? It does it matter, matter. It, does. it doesn't matter. Imagine anyway. that was in a film. <laughs> and they're going, well, I can't see where this plot goes. Well, he's just there. He's so, just there. So anyway, for so he sort reason. of says, get, get it in a suit, right? Why? So... <laughs> Because they're running out of ideas, the clock's ticking, they've got to go live with something. What do you mean? What, what he's is presenting? It, a news program? Well, he's listen, presenting. Listen, it's a chat show. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> they can't again, talk! Don't have a go at me, have a go at John, who sent this in. Right. And, and Be this quiet, is... let's hear it. Let's hear it again. So, anyway, so like I say, so going live, five, four, three, two, one, what have you, chimp sat there on the chair. <laughs> um, he was like, look, let's just get through tonight's show and worry about this tomorrow, right? <laughs> 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 what are you talking about? 
No. So they put a chimp in a suit. Where, what, was that handmade or were the sleeves a bit short on him? You idiot, think! So, so anyway, it's sat there, right? And they're going, right, here we go. Good luck, everyone, right? Yeah. Uh, chimp's there. What programme is this? It's a chat show. Oh, who's, who's chat show is it? Well, it's, it's the monkeys. I now. like the fact that it's they... the monkeys now, is it? <laughs> Can I, I, say... like, I like the fact that they put the chimp in a suit. It's like no one's going to take this chat show seriously if he's not dressed up, <laughs> if he's not smart. <laughs> slovenly, look at that <laughs> slovenly ape. So anyway, oh. let's, let's let's you know get to the point of it and that, right? So anyway, so they they go on, right? It's all going going. Didn't blinker. happen. There's no yeah. way this happened. Here's a moment, fundamental so anyway. question: How was the chimp asking questions? Um, not, not sure about that bit. But <laughs> all, all I've got is the stuff that was on the news site for this. Like I say. I've but it's you, rubbish! Yeah, but I'll give you some facts. No, I've no, told no. you, there's a TV channel in Moscow that's having problems, right? I've, I've explained that no, bit. No, it's just rubbish. They've got rid of the presenters, the monkey sat there. Right, don't worry about it anyway, I'm telling you, it goes alright. Alright, all right. All right. Oh, it goes so anyway, okay, in case you're worried, Rick. He's sat there, right? Absolutely. They get shit. to the first break, they're like, can't believe it, right? You know, viewing figures and that, they're loving it, right? What now? What? Uh, how have they got the viewing figures in the break? Please and do not interrupt me. What, what did the chimp do the in the, the first half? They, they, had a, they had a big guest on that, that week and what And what did he do? Just talk to Who himself? They walked on. So Cher comes I'm on. Not, yeah. I'm not sure, but say if it is Cher, right? No, right. what? The main gaffer is like going, oh, Cher's going to go mental at us, right, for putting... Say, it is, no, it is Cher. It, no, in Cher. his mind, it's Cher sitting there talking to a chimp in a suit. So anyway, she And they're filming it for Moscow TV, and the ratings are going through the roof. <laughs> Presumably there's a translator, because Cher doesn't speak either Russian or chimp. <laughs> so she comes off, right, and the bloke who's in charge is like, she's going to go mad. She's going to go mad here. She walks up, she goes, I love that. <laughs> Said that's one of the best interviews, right? So anyway, he decided, right? It went so well, kept him on. He's still there. I love the fact that Cher was an idea that Steve threw up, and now she's going. I love that. I love that. I love that, Jim. Get oh. me back there. I want to go to Moscow. Never mind. Don't, Unbelievable. Don't, don't have a go at me. Have a go at John. But you know, if you've got any monkey news, send it in. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news, yeah. F- this week, what I thought I'd do, right? Because we're getting loads of emails from people who who haven't really heard much of the monkey news that I've done in the past. Yeah. Right, and a lot of people are sending through one of the first ones that I did. That that was a good monkey news. Yeah. Uh, I think it's worth hearing again, just in case you forgot about it. Because it's, it's sort of classic monkey news. I don't know if you want a different jingle. Uh, well, no. I mean, it's just, you know, if, if it's anything that you've ever said, it's not true anyway. Well, so carry on. Well, it was a true one because this is the one that like it's it, this is like world known monkey news. A lot of people will send this through. It's the most popular one. Yeah. Right. And it's about this uh, this monkey that was knocking about called Ollie. Right, it's called Oliver. Yeah. And uh, it was in this zoo, um, and, and it was the only monkey in there, right? So oh, this is the one they think was the missing link. It was half human, half ape. Uh, that programme on television, because it was it had a bald... It looked like you, which doesn't mean it's half it, anything. It might have been that one. What happened is it was in the zoo and stuff, and uh, it was getting a bit lonely, because, like, it was sharing its sort of time with... Say an elephant and a giraffe and no, that. No, it doesn't happen. And they w- they didn't really. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. They do no, not. Well, let me put, just tell you. They do not put, put chimpanzees yeah, in. Let me with, tell you. No, well, it's not true. Why would he share his time with an elephant and a giraffe? Gervais, it was it was some kind of flat share. They put they put an advert in the student union. Yeah, you know, we've got two rooms to let. African mammal wanted, not specific. But what a mammoth and what I'm saying is there was other elephants for elephants to knock about with and that. The monkey, it was the only one there. So what happened is the zookeeper. Right. Felt a bit sorry for him. Right. right. He was like, oh, look, he's looking all fed up and that. Yeah. And like you say, I think he went a bit bald because he was bored and that. So <laughs> he he started to sort of get pally with him. So at lunchtime, when the zookeeper was sat on the wall having his, like, hand butties or whatever, yeah. he'd sort of go, you all right? And, and it used to come over closer and closer. Right. Yeah. Anyway, within a month, he was sat on the wall having his lunch with him. Right. And... What's what wall? Just a little wall in the zoo. <laughs> so they let the monkey out. The monkey could come and go. He had his own well, door just, key. Just, just near where the monkey is. It used to just pop. Oh, over. these blinking latchkey monkeys. He'd, I know. Yeah, you know, he was twenty-one. Yeah, go on. Sit there having his butty and that yeah. with the with the monkey and stuff. Yeah. And uh, anyway, the as, butty, as, the... as time as time went on, because the zookeeper back then zoos weren't as popular as they are now. Right. So it was only kind of it was him on his own really. So. He found like like the monkey was the closest rubbish. thing. Rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Zoo should not run with one zookeeper. This zoo is a true thing. I mean, this it's is what not, I'm saying. No, a lot of people. The popularity for zoo surely was in the Victorian era. So yeah, exactly. Know, you're but talking, anyway, you're carry on. Yeah, but okay. you're, being, you're sort of you know picking up on little things that are important. important. Sure. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that but anyway, so he sat he sat there, and as time goes on, you yeah. know, he's, he's sort of sat with him most of the day. Monkeys yeah. walking around with him, helping feed the other animals and that. No. 
but then what happened is the, the the zookeeper at the end of the night when he's like locking up and stuff, yeah. it'd feel bad because he'd be leaving the zoo, and like Ollie sat there and he's like, "I'll see you tomorrow," and the monkey's like, yeah, "See you later," <laughs> looking all fed up because he's got home to go to and he's still stuck in his where he's basically working every day. Right, so he's, never, <laughs> he's never going home, right? Now he's sleeping at work. The so, monkey. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, the, yeah. the zookeeper goes home, says to his wife, "Look, Ollie's." Uh, Having a bit of a time at the moment. She said, Oh, yeah, what's going on? I said, Well, uh, she's looking a bit fed up, you know, he's, he's sick of it. So she said, Bring him home. So she said, Well, I did what I asked, but I didn't want to force it, you know. All that three this conversation times. didn't happen. So anyway, <laughs> so, he's giving it in such detail. Yeah, I know, it didn't happen. <laughs> so anyway, this is in your head. So so she said, Yeah, bring it home tonight. So anyway, he's, he's looking forward to going into work and that. He sees Ollie, he doesn't tell him straight away. <laughs> It's a surprise for him later. <laughs> so, oh, God. So they go through the day, you know, usual stuff, feeding elephants and all that. It gets to the point when it's night, like, they have the lunch and that. It gets to the end of the day. Yeah. And uh, sort of Ollie's there, he's looking at him like as if to say, well, there you go, another yeah, day, another sure. busy day and that. Uh, Little does he know. See you tomorrow and stuff. Anyway, he's like, get your coat. He's like, what? Coat? Like, what do you mean, get no, your no, coat? <laughs> whatever the equivalent is, right? <laughs> whatever you say to a monkey, it was kind of like, you know, you're coming with me sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So he's going, oh, brilliant. Anyway, no, he's not! So Why he do you mean he's going brilliant? He takes Look, it home, So he gets right? his hat and coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he can't go believe on, he's lost, right? Yeah, he, goes, yeah. he goes back to the zookeeper's house. Everything's going well for about a week and a half. Right. right? Has he he's got his own room? He, he still goes, like, to work and stuff. To the zoo, yeah. To the zoo. He doesn't then, work there! And then he comes back to the zookeeper. <laughs> but anyway, what, what ended up happening is... So anyway, he, he's, he's back, at the, back at the house, and it's, it's going well for about a week and a half. Treating him really well. He sat there... You know, he's having a brandy at night before he goes to bed. <laughs> Zookeeper noticed that when he took it back to work, it was kind of getting flashbacks of not having a good time in the zoo, right? So he was like, this isn't helping him out. He's happy when he's at home with the brandy and the fags and that. When he comes back here, he's starting to look a bit fed up. So he said to his wife, look, you're at home all day, right? Oh, Jesus. I'm going to work. I'll leave it with you, right? Yeah. So while he stays at home... Yeah. Anyway, uh, as time oh, goes on... Yep. A little bit of trouble. Whilst the fella's busy at work, grafting, paying the bills and that for Ollie at home, Ollie starts getting a little bit cheeky, tries it on with a missus. <laughs> right. Whoa. Right. Well, this, how this, does Carl, a monkey try it on with the missus? Are you talking this, this shit? This is classic monkey news. And how does it try it on with so the missus? So he's a bit drunk, he, he, he stinks of smoke, he tries it on with the missus. How does he try it on with her? I, I don't know all the detail on You don't know any of the details. I don't know the detail on that bit. You don't know any of the details. I don't know the details on that bit. You don't know any of the details. So what happened? So while the zookeeper's away, the monkey did play, <laughs> what happened? Did the, did, the, did, the, what, did the zookeeper's wife reciprocate these affections? Just a little bit of, like, you know, a little bit of little bit of fun, I suppose. She probably went along with that at first. You know, she's cooking at home, getting the tea ready. That's walking past, pinching her arse or whatever. <laughs> and it's, do you know what I mean? It, it, it starts off just like it does, you know, with humans. Starts off as a bit of fun before you know it. You know, split up in the end anyway. The zookeeper wouldn't know what's it. I think the monkey stayed stayed with the with the woman. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. All right. Well, this one sent in from uh, from Sam in New York. Right. And it's about a fire that happened, right, in a really... Do you know, like, in New York, they have loads of big buildings, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, really, really tall Sky ones and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, there was a fire in one of them, right? So they did as expected. They called up, you know, fire brigade and that. They turned up, right? Uh, fire engine parked up. It's like, right, where's the fire? And they said, oh, it's on, like, uh, floor 100 or whatever. And they said, oh, no... We've brought the fire engine with the short ladders. <laughs> Stupid mistake, but go on. Right. So anyway, so the fire's going and that, and they're saying, is there anyone in there? They go, I don't know, there might be someone up there, but, we, you know, the telecom's not working and stuff. Who do you think might be up there, Rick? I don't know. But who's just a woman, I imagine, just a woman or a child. Well, is, there a, is, there a, is there a fireman that could climb up a building <laughs> okay. at all? Without a ladder? That seems unlikely, but go on. Go on. So anyway, so they said, well, how are we going to get up there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can't. But they've only brought the short ladders. No, we can't. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was uh, monkey news. So, uh, so they said, well, there's a lot of, like, grippage. Because <laughs> they, they made up words, the uh, firemen, yeah, the NYP <laughs> firemen. There's a lot of grippage! On the yeah. side of the building <laughs> and stuff. So anyway, they said, why don't we just go and get a monkey, right? 
So they got, oh. they got. Whoa, 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 yeah, that's yeah, a bit that, of a jump. Is they that just... policy now in, uh, in in the New York Fire Department? Well, the, the, you know, you've got to think quick, haven't you? At the end of the day, if people are up there, you don't yeah. you don't start querying if it works or not. You try everything that, that you can to, yeah. to help someone out, right? That's the first thing I thought of. Was it a monkey? So it was quicker for them to go and get a monkey than to go back and get the long ladders. Why don't they get Spider Man? Why don't they get Spider Man? Yeah, cool Spider Man. Yeah, cool Spider Man. So anyway, so they got they got a monkey down there, and they said, right, where well, they get it from? We don't know from the local zoo or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So they said, look. Let's, uh, you know, we've got to remember there's, there could be someone up there, um, right. and it'll shock them a bit <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if, a monkey out, if a monkey comes in, right? Yeah. So they said, <laughs> Yeah, I bet they don't care. Get it their, their building's on fire, they're not going to yeah. go, That's weird, there's a monkey in the window. <laughs> They'll be screaming, Save me! Oh, there's a monkey. Oh, so, anyway, from them. so they said, Right, we'll just get it a little small uniform and that, as far as you've got. <laughs> but, whoa, but hold on, though. Actually, where are you going to get that? I'm going back to the, um, Going back to the uh, station. We'll get the long ladders while you're there. No time. No time. No, I, I no. bought the small uniform. I just didn't bring the long <laughs> yeah. ladders. <laughs> you're an idiot. So oh. anyway, it goes up there. It's got all the kit on and what. It's yeah. got its little adder on and all that. It yeah. grabs. Uh, there was there was like a little person up there. Manages to grab that. No, a little. Who was up there then? It was just someone just a... that was just the right size for a monkey to be able to rescue, which is handy. Because <laughs> if it'd been anyone else, like a larger person or a family, we'd all be yeah. screwed. No, I don't know about the size of it, but it's just the story saying how like uh, it was quite a big, big monkey, and that it was good at breaking down doors. Oh yeah. Uh, it was good at climbing into small spaces and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Anyway, but it managed it's big, to... so it's big enough to carry a, a, a fully grown man, but small enough to climb through a. Uh, a cat flap, yeah. sure. So, uh, Which is handy. So anyway, it managed to, you know, get the person. boots on as well. It got got the person everything, and uh, now it says it, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's on call if if they ever need it again. <laughs> so. Sure, and if they ever get anywhere again and they've forgotten the long notice, but there's plenty of grippage, they just call for cocoa. <laughs> No, that's this week's monkey. Yeah, it's monkey news time. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, yeah. Right, last week we talked about, uh, you know, the the one who, who was who was good at getting up buildings and that for uh, putting out fires and stuff. Ended yeah. up working for the fire department. Yeah, not true, but sure. Yeah. But if, uh, there was, if the building had good grippage, he was right up there. Yeah, yeah. it's not true, but come on. So this week, anyway, it's about it's more about tall buildings and stuff. Oh yeah. It was this bloke who was a builder. Oh yeah. Right? And uh, you know what builders are like, they sort of move about, don't they, from, from sort of building to building, just building. <laughs> well, yeah, well, once they built it, the building's done and they move on to build some more. Building to building, just building, yeah. So he goes to his next job and that, right? Who does, the builder? The builder. Yep. He goes to, like, the, the, the boss building. The boss of this building who's building it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he says what unto him? Do you need anything building? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. So anyway... So he says, uh, he says, yeah, yeah, there's plenty of work and that going about. Yep. He says, we're working on this one here. He said, uh, get going on it, like, there's your bricks and your cement and stuff, get on with it. Yeah. So the, so Any plans? So nah. the, so the, so <laughs> just build. Just, just start building. Yeah. Go up. To getting on with it and stuff, it's all going well. Right? Yep. Um, but he notices that there's someone working eye up, mm. right, on, <laughs> okay. on the top bit. Sure. Because do you know, like, there's girders and stuff on these big yeah. buildings. Yeah. And he's still building and, the bottom bit, and which he's is still, weird. Yeah, well, that's that's the, the way they, they do it there, apparently, just to sort of speed it up, work from top to middle, from top to bottom. Sure, you know that's, I mean. and that's where that's in imaginary land. So we put anyway. the spire on, and then we went to do the foundations, <laughs> yeah. and then put some stuff in the middle to keep it up there. So anyway, he's, he's saying to, like, the other workers, he's going, What's, who's that up there? Who's that up like, there? He's, yeah. he's working on his own. The, what, the little fella, was he? And, the little uh, hairy fella up there. He's the little hairy fella up there with the top, uh, hard hat. And, and the other fellows are going, look, you know, don't ask questions, you know, the boss decides who he takes on, we're mm. happy to be getting paid here. <laughs> don't ask questions! Yeah. Well, I'll see him when he comes down. So he said, well, it's pretty impressive, you know, the, the work rate he's doing, the way he's getting from one girder to the other. <laughs> he Swinging, is he? He doesn't seem to be scared mm. of the heights or anything, so no, just let him get on with it, you know, we work well as a team. So anyway, what nonsense is so, this? So oh, he believes all this. Yep. So he sees the boss and he goes, "That fella up there, who's the fella up there? He's, he's pretty good." And he's like, "Look, you know, just get on with the job. Yeah, I'll pay you. Let's just all get on with our jobs." That <laughs> lunchtime comes, they're all sat there, sat on a little wall, having the sandwiches. Just thinking he'll come down in a bit. He's yeah. just carrying on. Yeah. Is he just still going? Still yeah. going on that, right? Mm. So the fella says to the boss man, "He says, isn't, isn't that fella up there uh, going to come down and join us for lunch?" He said, uh, he said, like I said, mate, don't don't worry about him. Right? Yeah. He yeah, said, very secret. I'm suspicious about this fella. I don't know, yeah, why, I don't know, why, I don't know, know why he's working through his lunch. I don't know why he's not scared of heights. I don't know why he's swinging from girder to girder. It's weird. Go on. So he said, oh, anyway, you've reminded me that he's up there. He said um, he's doing a lot of riveting and stuff up there. 
you probably need some more nuts to, uh... Right, sure. And what kind of nuts is that? Is that nuts to food, or...? So, he said, what, nuts? He said, yeah, just, uh, there's a bag full of them there. Just, just put them on the hook, send them up, and he can get on with his job. So, anyway, he picks these nuts up, nuts, right? Yep. Just hooks them on. He thinks they're not that heavy. No. Considering, you know, I mean, they're normally pretty heavy, aren't they? Like, nuts and bolts and stuff. So, anyway, he has a little glance in. Oh, no, what's in there? Nuts. What, you mean nuts that you can eat? Nuts that you can eat, oh. right? So, they send the bag up, and he's thinking, what's all that about? He checks him out, starts to stare, works it out. You can see that he's a little chimp running about, so he goes, I'm not happy with this. Why so, isn't he? Because he's working for an organisation that's, you know, there's unions for this sort of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, he's not going, that's amazing. They've got a chimp riveting this building together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not scary. He's wondering if they're breaking union rules. So he, he, go, he goes... You half talk. So he goes, shit, with he the goes boss. to the boss and he goes, look, I've worked out what you're playing at here. Yeah. He said, all them out Is there. Is the boss sitting in a tyre? <laughs> he said, all them lot out there might not be wise to what's, what's going on here. He yeah. said, but I've, I've clocked it and you're sending nuts up to it. It's a monkey, it's not on. So he goes, look, you know, we just all try to earn a living here. He said, uh don't get involved in it. I'm happy to pay you, but I'm paying him. Don't, don't interfere. He's paying him? And he's saying, look, I, I'm just not happy with this. It's, it's not allowed. So the boss was saying, well... We pay honest, peanuts, mate, we get monkeys. He said, to be honest, mate, you know, uh, he, he's a great worker. <laughs> he's known for doing what he does. He's a good grafter. <laughs> if one of you's gonna go, right, I'm afraid I'll have to let you go, because he's, he's been here longer than that. Yeah. He was made redundant None because of that happened. He, he, was, he was laid off. None of that happened. Is laid off and that, and that's no. where that saying about, um, you know, like there's a lot of tower blocks and that in America. It's like, like the, the chimp off the old block, is is where. <laughs> <laughs> so that's monkey news. Right, do you know it's it's nearly time for the Winter Olympics again. Okay. Is it? Okay. They sort of come round every four years. Is it this year? Is it? Yeah, and uh, the 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 last one that happened. Four years ago. Yeah. There was a there was a bit of an incident. Oh no. Oh well, I'd know about this then because it would be well, it'd be well, big news because it's a it's a well known televised as well. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember any winners that were monkeys in any of the no, tournaments? Of course no, not. No. So so it's anyway, going to be that because it wouldn't be true. Oh, on. Yeah. So anyway, one one of the uh, popular events, um, bobsleigh. <laughs> oh, okay, you're right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, you know, it you know how it works. Well, it's you like need four men. Is it four men or five four men? It's four, yeah. so it's definitely four men that you need, need on four a men. team. Is it, and two, and there's two team bobsleighers. But as well. they're always men, is that right, Rick? Well, that, well yeah, that's to be... Yeah. Anyway, so... Human, so human, humans. Well, that's to be humans. Yeah, yeah it's okay. the Winter Olympics for... Yeah, so, 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 let me just clarify. With the Winter Olympics, you can't have any animals taking part. No, and they, and they also, well, no, because they, they wouldn't be allowed them to. There's no way they could disguise it, because not only would they see it straight away, right, but they have blood tests. <laughs> right, okay, so, Which would show up. So they definitely know if it was well, a blood test. Non it's impossible, it would be literally impossible to have anything other than a human <laughs> taking involved part. in a bobsleigh team. Fine, okay, so carry on. So anyway, this, this country, I don't want to name them, because they try to shake off this, this sort of, you know, this bad news. Oh, yeah, and you don't know. Cause Cause it's not true. Yeah. So anyway, the, the the country was doing really well in the qualifying stages. Oh yeah. But the problem was there was there was like two members mm. who were getting all like the press and stuff. Oh right, yeah. And one of them never got a look in, right? How tall was he? <laughs> anyway, so this one member was getting fed up because the the other two were getting all the press and what have you. So he said, I, I'm not happy with this. Yeah. I'm jacking it in. Oh. So they were like, you're joking. We've we've qualified. We're getting into like the main race and everything mm. you can't leave us now and he said well you could do it all on your own before you know you, you, the way you were acting like you didn't yeah. need me so i'm going mm. so they were like oh well, they, they need to replace him because there's a certain amount of people needed so uh so anyway so the clock's ticking it's getting close to the big race and everything of course it is yeah they're like what what are we going to do here the substitute what? they took with them what are they well, going to do have, yeah. yeah they would take the substitute so get no, him they on. Didn't, they didn't they didn't have any of them and that what, it's, what, you know a lot I, of injuries just, and stuff well just get a mate to do it just get a mate or a friend yeah, or, or the coach to do it yeah but you know there's a lot of responsibility on these people and mm. you know you won't want to let your country down and that and they're like what are we going to do get a waiter or anyone anyway the, the time comes to the race seems to be three people on it there appears to be three okay yeah um, they start off, they're whizzing around the track, faster than normal, they, they're beating their old records. <laughs> right, amazing. Because the new fella they've got, a little bit smaller. Ah! Oh, right? is, so, is he in the bobsleigh or is he pushing? He's, he's in it. Oh, right. okay. Right. He's wearing a uniform and a helmet that he's we can't see what he looks on, like. He's, he's got, got the kit on. Uh, yeah. Nobody knows who he is, but the country's loving it. Of course they They're do. like, well, it looks like we're going to break all our records, you know. Good, it's good that they found someone new. Yeah. Bet the other fella who left, he's, he's sort of kicking himself, thinking, oh, I could have been part of this. 
Anyway. This wasn't a bloke that had very short legs and long arms, was it? Anyway, what happened is, they're whizzing round the track and what have you. Faster than ever, yeah. Faster than ever, and the press are like going, beating all records here. They mm. started taking photographs. A <gasps> lot of flashing. A lot of flashes from the cameras and stuff. Right, of course. Suddenly, the bobsleigh goes a bit, sort of, mental, and whizzes off, off the track, right, into like all the tyres and stuff. That they have for protective. Oh, like. they love tyres, don't they? Bobsleigh members. <laughs> some of them you can. Some, uh, sometimes you can find them swinging in one, or maybe eating a banana. Ambulance comes rushing over and stuff. The other two members are looking pretty nervous for some reason. Mm. Oh, what are they doing? They're saying, look, um, don't take the helmet off because you know you can do more damage to the. the well, neck. don't tell the paramedics how to do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they know their job. Yeah, they know yeah, their yeah, job. Yeah. So they were like, just, just you know, and plus, you know, he doesn't. He, he came in at last minute to help us out. He doesn't want everyone to know who he is. He's, yeah. he's not after the limelight. Yeah. Like some of the members we used to have, but he just, yeah. he just was helping his country out. Yeah. Leave the helmet on. Anyway, they get him in the ambulance and stuff. The other two are looking a bit worried and what have you. They're oh. gutted, they lost the race. The little bloke, is the bloke not saying anything? Is he not? He's, he's in the ambulance now. Is he not saying anything though? Anyway, word got out, right, from one of the ambulance mm. drivers a few weeks down the line, once all the dust had settled on the Olympics and stuff and mm. light news day and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it was reported that one of the ambulance drivers said that, that on that, on that sort of dreadful night when, you know, the country lost out on a medal in the bobsleigh, he sort of reported that there was a monkey in the back of the ambulance. People were like going, ah, you're joking, I don't remember you? this, I don't remember this you, at not, you, Well, this is it, you see, because they sort of swept it under the carpet oh, a little bit. Right. They were like, this bullshit. is crazy talk. Bullshit. This, bullshit. this is bullshit crazy again. talk. Once talk, absolute shit. Where'd you get this, this from? This is crazy talk, right? It is but, crazy talk, and it's from the mouth of Carl Pilkington. And, and, but, the, but the weird thing is, that backed it up. Well, following week, um, there was a story of some people who visited the zoo, saw a chimp in a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's this week's monkey. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news! You... There was this um, airline, and um, it was having a lot of problems. And, and a what, lot of pilots the... too tall? Yeah, the cabin was so tiny. Only bananas were allowed in the cockpit for fuel. <laughs> anyway, yeah. there was a lot of strikes going on, right? Sure. Because um, I don't know what it was about. It was over money or whatever. Yes. And the well, get get someone that doesn't need money. <laughs> yeah, but but, well, but what else could you pay something in? Well, Rick, I mean, peanuts. Would, so okay, peanuts or fruit. Yeah. So anyway, the the boss of the airline, he, oh. he had like one pilot who he could trust, right? And that was his son. Right. right? But the problem is with a lot of these planes, mm -hmm. you need two pilots. Of course right? you do. And he's like, if only I had two sons, but he didn't. There's no point harping on about it. Right? Sure. Is as, it, is as, it, he runs a he airline. He runs an airline, yeah. But how many pilots are there? Because there must be loads. No, there's loads, but the problem is a lot of them are going on strike. Oh. And each week you can see that we're oh, struggling here. We but how can they? Pilots. But if it, yeah, but it's just, it was just the pilots that were striking, was it? Yeah, the pilots were striking, yeah. So the, all the ground staff and luggage handlers and all that was okay in the cab? They, they were fine, it's just pilots right. were, were not pilots. happy with the deal and what have you. Yeah. Well, just, just close it down. No anyway, way, you can't do that, no, can't, Of course you can't. It's costing him a fortune if he closes it down. Yeah, yeah, but what, one plane's not going to make a difference in an airline, is it? No, 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 it's no. all the planes. It's all the planes, mate. Yeah, I know, exactly, so if he's only got one person you can trust, <laughs> knock it on the head. No, 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 <laughs> no, what's the point? You've got to keep going. You can't just nip stuff in the bud like that. If you've if you got a dream, keep it alive. I know, but not with one plane and your son. So so anyway, I don't know. Well, but that's, that's the least of his problems, Rick, because he's got his son who's a brilliant pilot, he's the only guy he can trust, but it, it takes two people to fly. Well, you can't fly then. So, the son, he's mm. flying the planes and that, he's getting worried for his dad because of his business, it's falling sure. apart. He's like, anyway, listen. Well, one plane won't make any difference. Don't though. worry about it, we've found someone who you can work with. Okay. Um, and he's like, but I, I get past the picket line because, you know, they know I'm your son anyway and they'll leave me alone, but any other pilot, they're going to start giving him grief. They're tearing him to shreds, yeah. He said, don't worry about it. Unless he could swing over the heads of all the strikers. He said he's staying over near the sort of quarantine area where oh, all yeah. the animals are kept oh, and yeah, stuff. Right, okay. They won't be looking in there, they won't uh, bother. No. So he's like, all right. Uh, well, there's no animal that could be a co-pilot, that's why. I'll see you, uh, he'll meet up with you in the cockpit. Right. He'll be over in the cockpit, yeah, sure. So anyway, he gets in there, he meets them. At first, a little bit of a shock who he's going to be working with. But why? he's thinking, as long as I can keep my dad's business alive, I can Not keep with one plane. Not so, with one plane. Anyway, what happens is the strike's going on, 
he's flying. He's yeah. got his mate with him flying, helping out. Who's his mate? What's his the mate's flights, name? The flights are brilliant. Right? Everybody's loving them. They can't believe how smooth they are. Sure. The, you know, the shares are going through the roof. Everybody's like, what? Oh, what plane? This one plane. This oh, one plane one they've plane? got. plane? That wouldn't make any difference. Everyone's saying, you know, it's, a, it's only a small plane, but it's worth getting on there. And it's a small plane sure, as because well. Because it's, it's a great oh, experience. Oh, gone under, I'd have thought. There's so no anyway, way they can keep that alive. <laughs> Apparently they can. So they're keeping yeah. this, uh, this plane up in the air and what have you, and everybody's, yeah. you know, booking the holidays. It's almost like the favourite bit of the holiday. They're loving the flights that much. Why? It's just, because it's really good flight. Just I great, don't understand great flight. what difference. Apparently it's a great flight. It's it makes. Just, it's so nice. So anyway, what difference it makes. Everyone's happy. Then one day mm. what happens is a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a problem. Oh uh, dear. You're not, you're not going to tell us that, that sort of co, co-pilot Coco is, he's not able to make it to work, is he? Well, well, what oh. happened is, uh, one woman who was on the, on the plane got a bit peckish, right? Right. Yeah. And said, uh, said to the air host, this woman said, I'm a little bit peckish, have you got any sort of nibbles and that? She went, uh, no, I've got, got a sandwich. She said, I don't really want a sandwich, you want some, you know, like the usual stuff that planes give out, just no, like a bag of nuts or something. Well, nuts, are yeah. they not giving those out yet? So, no, they don't give it, for some reason, she was like, look, we've, we've stopped giving out the nuts, we can get you That's a sandwich, strange. and the woman's yeah. like, I don't want a sandwich, yeah. I just want some nuts, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. A sandwich is quite a big meal, I just yeah. want some nibbles, want some nuts. Well, that, that's not available. So Done. Can't, End can't, of story. Can't get you nuts. She said, well, why aren't there any nuts? She said, well, you know, the airlines had problems and stuff, and maybe that was one of the cutbacks, we've never took the nuts back off. Yeah, sure. So she wanted to just leave it. She wanted her nuts, right? She's having a lovely flight and everything. She said, I can't, cannot complain about the flight. The <laughs> no, flight sure. is brilliant. Yeah. Whoever's yeah. up there flying this place doing, so, a, doing, doing job. a great job, but I need some nuts. Right. Anyway, so there, there, aren't the, any. there aren't any. Very nuts. demanding woman. There aren't any. There's a very demanding woman. There aren't any. Look, she's paid big money, right? She's probably in first class. She wants nuts. She's going to nah, get nuts. There aren't any. Leave it. Leave if it. she has to force her way into the cabin to get nuts, she's going to get well, nuts. Well, she can't go there because she'll be shot. Because so with, with, with security problems and that, there's no way she could ever go to the cockpit. That, it, that would never happen. So she said, well, you're saying there aren't any nuts. She yeah. said, but earlier, I saw you put a tray outside the cockpit, right? It had a sandwich on it, two Cokes and two bags of nuts. Right. She said, so you're saying there aren't any, but the pilot's getting Well, there aren't any now. That was the last two packets. Done. No, no. So Let's go home. <laughs> So she's going, you can't, can't have any. Right. We know, she's we going, understand that there's a dispute so, over So nuts. she said, she said, well, well I'm, I'll go and have a word with the pilot myself, because you only put them out there a few minutes ago. He can't have eaten them yet. I want some. You can't go. No, no. I know this is it. This yeah. is, she was saying, you cannot go over. She's going, no. listen. Yeah. I'm gonna go over because no, I feel no, like I'm being lied to. No, you can't. So she goes. So no, and, no and the way. pilot can well, hear all this in anyway. chat about the nuts and what have you, and he's thinking, what's going on out there? Yeah. He opens the door. Yeah. She gets a glance in. Little monkey sat there with headphones. Fucking bollocks. Right, um, ages ago, right, about, about the 1950s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was this gangster knocking about, and do you know how, like... Was he called Hairy Fingers? Do you know how, like, a lot of gangsters like <laughs> to get into gambling and that? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, like, all these, all these peers and that, all these, all these mates who are, like, gangsters and stuff, mm. they've all bought horses, right, that like they take. You know, tech racing, and they make money from them, that don't they? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, he and was like, "Shackles the seagull was no different." And and he was like, "Yeah, that's uh, that's a good thing to get into. I might might get into a bit of that, right?" So he gets himself this horse, right? And it, there's a big race coming up. That's why he's sort of he's a bit of a last minute. And the and the jockey turns up and it's fine. He's a human jockey and it's fine. Excellent. Okay, well that was so, another podcast. So anyway, so um, please listen. Oh, hang on, there's more. There's more. Oh, go on. on. So oh. so anyway, so. Uh, this big race is coming up. He's, yeah. he's like, I've got to be involved in this yeah, because definitely. I can make a lot of money out of me also. Choose the jockey wisely then. So he says to his, like, mate, he said, look, uh, I've got myself a horse and that. He said, we just need a jockey, get someone, oh, yeah. sort it out and yeah. what have you so I can get in this race. So, yeah, the jockey so his, club. His mate's people. like, yeah, all right, I'll have, a, I'll have a word and that, have a look round and that, see if there's anyone decent. And there's, the, the good there. thing about jockeys is there's never been a shortage of jockeys because a lot of them don't make the grade. So there's, there's, there's always too many jockeys to go round. Normally always too many human jockeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, you, there's never a problem getting jockeys. Fine. Go on. <laughs> so anyway, so... Was well, that true in the 50s as well? Absolutely. It's always been it's true. It's always been true. It's always it's just always one true. There's no, there's no lack of jockeys. So... It's sort of close shot, people are trying to do it and they don't make the grade, so... But in the 50s, from your knowledge, there was never, there was not, like, in 1951, a shortage of jockeys for just one year? Absolutely never. I've known about <laughs> okay, that. Fine, I'm you, quite yeah. keen. Right. Go on. So anyway, right, so his mate says, look, I'm having a problem getting a jockey. Seems odd, oh, because no, Ricky's just weird. been saying... I don't know. He's just been saying there's not a problem. What do you mean? So... Just because the main problem was... Go on. A lot of jockeys were aware of this gangster and were saying, I'm not getting involved with this guy. The chances are, I won't get paid... You know, is a gangster. It's not no, worth it. No, you would do it if it was a gangster asking you. 
You'd be scared of the consequences. So anyway, he's saying, look, don't be coming to me with problems and that, right? I've got the horse, I want it in the race, sort it out. So they're like, oh, but boss, and he's like, don't give me any of that. Exactly, they do what he says, so any jockey would do it. Go on. So anyway, so the day before... The big race, yeah. <laughs> left into the last minute, okay, but yeah. fine. <laughs> and, uh he says, have you, have you got a jockey then? They're like, yeah, but, and he's going, D don't worry about it, have you got a jockey? Yeah, but, and he's like, well, look. He wants what, to what? say, sure, he yeah. So, yeah, he uh, out. he's saying, has he ridden the horses before on that? He said, well, yeah, he has, but mainly, and he's like, like brilliant. And he goes, yeah, but mainly in like a in circus. The, in the jung... No, like in, in, the, in the circus and that, <gasps> he'd worked, he'd, he'd worked with horses and stuff. In the circus. It's fine. Yeah, so he's like, that's, fine. that's enough, that's, that's all I need to know. Well, they'd be too heavy, because circus... So People so are quite built, aren't they? They're, so, they're said, a bit so, heavier than the jockey, because the jockeys are about eight and a half stone. He said, brilliant. Get him down there and that, right? Yeah, no. Anyway, the race happens. He didn't want to meet him beforehand? He wasn't worried no about No point. It. Not no, bothered. No. As far as he's concerned, he's, it's putting all his, he's putting his money on it and what have you. Yeah. So, right. What happened is they were trying to make him put on the jo jockey outfit. Yeah. But for some reason it didn't fit that well. Sleeves too was, short, legs too long. It's that sort of problem. Okay. So they let him, like, you know, wear his stuff that he wore in the circus and that, because it's, it's, it's comfortable with that, yeah, he's yeah, happy yeah. with it, do you know yeah, what I mean, that's what he's happy with. Yeah. Anyway, race starts and what have you, uh, this horse straight out of the trap and that, high speed, right, this, this jockey's got a really big grin on his face, he's loving it, right, everyone's cheering, going, who is this, who's this jockey here? Yeah. It's amazing, never seen him before, and yet, look at him. But they can see his face, clearly. Anyway, gangster's happy and that, because he's, he's one. Well, I just want to say, the crowd, the crowd can see the jockey, can they? What? The crowd can. I mean, it's, it's yeah, but he's so fast and what have <laughs> the you. The blur, it's a blur. It's all a blur. He's right? really, he's good at it. I mean, apparently right. he was close to falling off, and people were like, he's, he's gone, he's a goner. Right. He's got such a good reach that he managed to grab hold. Oh, sure. Oh. And right, they, well, so. they could tell he was smiling. They could tell he was smiling, but they couldn't see the, the detail of his face. Is that right? Just well, to clarify it's just, that. It's just blur and that. Sure, but they could tell teeth. he was smiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. They knew he was happy. At the end of it, do you know, like the winner sort of rides around the crowd, basically, yeah. sort of you know, show off and what have you. Yeah. And all the women are there, and you know, like women are all dolled up at these events. Sure, yeah. they've all got big, big hats on. Uh, Sometimes they got fruit on those hats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, one, one of the women. In one the of 50s, the women. Oh Carmen God. Miranda was very yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. One of the women had like, like you say, fruit and what have you on it. Yeah. A little, little banana. Right. 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 Some kind of they're not woman. real. They're not real though. The hats. They're, 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 <laughs> they're not real fruit, is no, it? Yeah. Not. Never. So it, but so I don't know who. Well, I thought they wore those sort of kind of Cuban yeah, entertainment even, shows. I didn't realise they wore them yeah, at events. Yeah, even if it's like a big event, you know, you might have a hat with fruit, and it, it's sort of joke, but, it, but it's it's fake fruit because it would it would it would perish. Well, this this jockey didn't understand that. He'd never seen false fruit. I don't understand. But why did, the, why did the jockey suddenly? Why was he so desperate for fruit? I don't, I don't understand. understand. So anyway, so meanwhile the gangster's collecting his five hundred quid winnings. Yeah. Right? He's over the moon. Yeah. He kicks off because of this woman with the fruit. Yeah. I don't understand. I still don't understand no, why the jockey would go. Everyone for... noticed. Jockey, little monkey fella. Oh, that makes sense. If he was a monkey, that would make sense. Yeah. What year was this? Because I want to. It was. It up. was nineteen fifties, and that's where the saying comes from about do you know, like in Cockney slang, five hundred quid is a monkey. He, he sort of put, he, you know, he put a monkey on it. Right, it was this, uh... Monkey? This fella, right, who, uh, he had a problem with his eyes. Right? Yeah. So, uh, he goes to the doctors, and he goes, uh, oh, I've got a problem with my eyes. And he goes, yeah, they bad them, right? <laughs> he goes, uh, it was in America, you know, like, how you have to pay for, for medical stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. And the doctor said, oh, if, if, if I fix them, it's going to be, like, ten grand, right? Mm -hmm. He's like, but I haven't got the money, Doctor. He goes, well, I can't help you then. You know, there's a lot of people with bad eyes like them. Can't do anything for you. Hmm. So he goes, oh, it's getting worse. I can't do anything. God. So anyway, so he goes home. Is that the price of human eyes, is it? So he goes home, he's looking in the paper, right? And he, he sort of sees in the adverts at the back. And uh, there's a little advert there saying, cheap doctors, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, <but. laughs> Oh, no. no. So he's thinking, oh, maybe that's, maybe that's what I, uh, maybe that's what I need, right? So he calls him up woman's there, she's like, wait, what can I do? He goes, I've got bad eyes and that. She says, oh, come in tomorrow, we'll sort them out. She's like, brilliant, I'll see you then, right? So he goes down there and uh, he says, right, you know, I, c I can hardly see, my eyes have got in really bad state and what have you. Right. I need to have them sorted out. I don't know what you do, whatever you do, right. I need now, doing. his eyes are so bad, can he see the doctors? He c um, not really, he's sort really of squinting. squinting and that, but, you know, so, uh, so he's like, uh, do I need to see the doctor to, 
you know, have a word and tell them what problems. She's like, no, I don't, don't worry about that. Don't worry about just, no, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be comfortable if it's a just, a just you know, just let me inject you and uh, we'll knock mm. you out and we'll, we'll get on with it. Like, well, it's, 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 Can I just tell you something about um, chimps as well, just before you continue? Go on. You know, they don't have opposable thumbs. Now, why what, are opposable thumbs useful? Really? Well, to, to grip something, to do anything like you know, even simple. Uh, stuff like writing, so let alone surgery. So without an but opposable thumb. can I just thumb, check now? So if I was a doctor and I was doing any form of difficult surgery, would I need opposable thumbs? You'd need opposable thumbs to be and a doctor. And without opposable, you couldn't do anything. You could. Thanks it, for clearing that because up. Because because um, uh, the, the opposable thumb allowed something in our evolution called the precision grip. Right. So without that, you couldn't do anything. I'm just glad they've got that cleared up. Thanks. So anyway, so he's had the injection, he's nodding off and what have you, right? his eyes are sort of closing and that, he hears the door open, he, he sort of just sees this little fella coming in and he's like, hello doctor, he's trying to like, make a chat with it, sure. but like, he, he's just it's nodding off. Uh, no, just, oh, he's he never called it he, he These she. people have done seven years medical Deeply training. Respected people. How could you say, call it it? So anyway, he thought, oh, it's weird he didn't answer, but you know, doctors can be quite moody, you know, they're highly intelligent, they don't need Especially idle, little airy ones. Well, just idle chit chat. There's no room for that, do you know That's what I mean? Like, yeah, just, it's just, it's just, yeah, but you know, if, I, if I'm going in to have my eyes done, I want a little bit of idle chimp chat. So anyway, time passes, right? Yeah. Uh, he sort of wakes up and uh, he opens his eyes, right? And uh, it's brilliant, he can't believe it. Oh, he's a perfect. He's had, he's had, he's had the op. He, he can't believe the sight. He's like, nurse, right? And the nurse comes in. Because I can't believe it. This is brilliant. I've never had this such good sight. Do you know what I mean? Even when I was a baby. Yeah. And my eyes were new. Yeah. I didn't see this good. Great. So she's like, well, you know, that's... that's you realise the nurse is a panda. That's, that's what we do, right? So, uh, he said, right, so can I just see the doctor and just say thanks and that? She's like, well, to be honest, you know, he's, he's specialised in what he does. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot what of a load of bollocks this is getting. <laughs> Please. Like, where did you get this from? No, come on, let's hear the end of the news. There's a wow. lot of, there's a lot of, like, operations he's got to do. Yeah. Um, so, you know, leave him to it, he's just having a kip, you know, I'll, I'll let him know that you were grateful. Yeah. Uh, you know, pay us a check, off you go, go and enjoy looking at stuff. Yeah. So, uh, he says, uh, he said, no, I just, just, what's wrong with that? I just want to see that. Just no, like, no leave it, just leave. Yeah, exactly, like, leave it. And he's like, it's he's like, like yeah, yeah, but I can't, you know, I, I want to thank him, so he's done such a good thing for me. So they're getting into a bit of an argument and what have you, and the voices are raising, right? Mm. Uh, door gonna opens. I'm going to wake the doctor up. Well, mm. that's what they did, they woke it up, right? They so, woke it uh, it? So the door opens, right? <laughs> Little monkey comes out. Oh. And, and he's like, what's, what's, what's going on here? It's hospital. Why is the, why is the, uh, a monkey knocking about? Yeah. So the woman, woman said, well, what, what do you mean? He's the doctor. Right? <laughs> so, so he's like, you are having a laugh, aren't you? She goes, look, don't complain. You, your eyes are sorted, yeah. you know? The doctor's done it. What, what, what's the problem? He said, well, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have come here. She said, well, what do you mean you didn't know that? She said, the advert in the paper you read, it's uh, like, chimp doctors. That is the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. That really is the worst. It's what, and he, so he, because his eyes were so bad, he thought it said cheap doctors. He saw the advert and, and it said, it said chimp doctors, but because his eyes were bad, he just saw it. What as, journal is this in? It was, it was years ago, because it sort of says how the monkey sort of carried on working for a few years. Uh, he couldn't do anything then about it. Then just retired to play golf. It's absolute bollocks. He's there's no to... way, there's the worst, uh, I mean, it's not even worth talking about. So. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's the most ridiculous monkey news you've ever heard, and that's saying something. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news, you little brown teddy. Right, years ago, uh, people only drank water, <laughs> didn't they? How long ago are we talking? Uh, going back a bit. Okay. Um, and it was just a norm, everybody was happy with that. It was kind of like, you know, what, you thirsty, have some water. It was just what you did. Um, well, and it was no, more of... Well, no, not only water. No, it was, it was kind of like... Well, they drank uh, milk at birth, didn't they? Yeah, as a baby. Mm. But then you don't, you don't have that when you're older. What I mean is, there's more now, as we've discussed, there's more of everything. So... I thought there was fruit juices in... Yeah, but what, Stuff. I mean, when people were thirsty, mm. it was, it was like, well, have water. They didn't go, oh, what do you want? Do you want this? Do you want that? I'm, I'm just saying yeah. they had it for a purpose as opposed to uh, something on the, on, for the taste buds. Right? Yeah. So, um, so anyway, so this, this town, right, uh, it was in the middle of nowhere somewhere. Mm. Um, it's the, um, it's the detail that makes the story, yeah. isn't it? The, the, the pinpoint accuracy of, uh, detail. so it was a while ago and it was in a town somewhere. Brilliant. In the middle of nowhere. And what, what used to happen is barrels used to appear, right? These sort of, uh, do you know like how they have um, wooden barrels, that beer and that comes in? Right. Yeah. One of those used to just be in this village and everyone who lived there uh, was used to this sort of drink that used to crop up, right? 
Well, because they were used to it, they didn't question it. It was kind of like, yeah, it's what happens if you live here. Sorry, so I don't understand. So what's in the barrel? It's a barrel in the town square. Well, it's this drink. Right? And it's, so it's not water? It's not water. It's a mysterious it's, it's, other uh, drink. Well, it, it, I'll tell you now, it's, it's like a fruit drink. Okay. And back then, I mean, I, I speak to my mum and she didn't have a banana till she met me dad. And they were made up of fruit. Sorry, is that some euphemism? I don't know what that means. No, but what, what <laughs> yes. I mean, what I mean is... Was that is, he came a-calling with a banana. <laughs> no, with a bunch of bananas and some, <laughs> some, some flowers. <laughs> oh. No, but what I'm saying is, uh, it was like a fruit drink and for years and years people didn't drink fruit. It was an eating thing. Do you what? know what I mean? It, it was, was an eating thing. thing. It was an eating. Yeah, what, it, was, it was, it was, you're thirsty, have some water, what, you're hungry, have a banana, have an orange, sure, but the idea of combining the two, crazy. They never used them in that way, so anyway. So a mysterious fruit-based drink is turning up mysteriously in this town for years, no one questions it, no one thinks, they yeah, just, just think Yeah, just in that area, I'm sure like- Here the come the lilt man. No, but, but in the same way that in Scotland they'll have, um, fried Mars bars and that, yeah. and they don't bat an eyelid at that. Yeah, when we go there. Well, no, well, they, well, they, don't, they didn't appear mysterious. <laughs> they, they didn't just appear go, one day. I assume they go to the news agents and take it home and pop it in some batter. Yeah, I, I, but what I'm saying is they mm. don't think anything's odd about that. But as time goes on, people have started travelling more, haven't they? Ooh. And, uh, you have. Visitors sort of came in to the, to the town. To the town. And uh, mm. they were saying, oh, I'm a bit thirsty, have you got any water? Mm, and they were right. like, I don't have water. Mm. Have, uh, have some of that in that barrel. And they were like, mm. what's that? Oh, it's a drink. So they had it, and it was really, like, refreshing. Cool. They were like, what is this? And they said, don't really know, it just crops up. <laughs> of course they did. No. It's what, uh, no. it's what you get if you live here, it's part of living here. Right. So they were like, brilliant, do you sell this? And no, they don't just sell it, we don't even know where it comes from, just have some whilst you're here. You don't even know where it comes from. No. So it's the bollocks. thing is, this, this helped the, uh, the town out. That's before the monkey appears, this shit. <laughs> yeah. So all these people are enjoying the drink. Mm. Word gets out, and yeah. it went on for a couple of years, but, they say it travels fast, doesn't it? If it's yeah. good, if it's good news, it travels. If it's good news or bad news, it travels fast. Yeah. Mm. So but, news uh, travels fast. Yeah, just news. Yeah, news does. So um, mm. anyway, so some fucking business, monkey news doesn't. This is taking half an hour. So some big business fella oh. who was on holiday oh. in any it, specifics. He was from <laughs> uh, Chicago, right? Oh, and he, he flew. How tall was he? Hold on, though. So this is after Chicago was founded. Oh right. uh, yeah, Chicago was knocking about. Oh, they had loads of drinks then. Yeah, they had alcoholic. coffee, no, tea, coffee, yeah. tea, alcohol. Yeah, they had every drink under the sun. Yeah, but not like every a, drink under the sun. Not like apple juice, grape no, juice, no, ciders, didn't. wines, every just yeah. So, so he, he came. Oh, in. Oh, Chicago was founded. He, then, ca uh, he came. Yeah, in probably nineteenth century. Oh, there's loads of shit about. And he was saying, "This drink you've got here, he said, it's good stuff, you know." Mm. He said, "Who's is it?" And they said, "Well." He just appears and what have you, and he said, well, that's a bit odd. Mm. So anyway, he, he got a bit annoyed with it, because he wanted to take it back with him to Chicago, he yeah. knew there was an, an audience for this. Well, yeah, because they got bored of tea, coffee, coffee all the other drinks, all the other drinks and that, yeah. So he, uh, he waited Mead. at night. He'd been around for years. Waited at night, waited behind a truck. Mm. <laughs> a truck. <laughs> a truck. <laughs> oh, so it's, uh, so we're in a motorised age. Oh, so, so uh, at least 1890, <laughs> something I'd have thought. Uh, and he saw this uh, little fella uh, bring the barrel out. How little was the fella? It's hard to tell in the dark, and they were quite far away, and the barrels, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's, tricky. it's hard it's to tricky. work out. Yeah. Uh, he was short, his arms were long. So, um, so they followed him in, right, and, uh, saw what was going on. Okay. Like, how it was being made. Mm. And, uh, and they said, you know what, we, we can have a go at making this ourselves. And what happened in the end, they, they tried to imitate it in Chicago. Mm. Uh, there was a orangey tang, right? It was made by an orangutan, wasn't it? And, uh, do you know, grapefruit juice. Mm. They had, like, ape fruit juice that, that they, they were good at crushing the fruit with the feet and what have you. And that's, that's how them two... So it was great ape fruit drink. Yeah. Which probably got abbreviated over time. Ape fruit, ape fruit, no, ape fruit juice. No, no, it was great ape fruit drink, it was, cos it tasted great. That is a load of shit, Carl. Right, do you know, um, oh. in the first, uh, podcast that we did, we uh, chatted about the monkey that went into space and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where we left? So haven't you got a real no a new monkey news? Well, it's an update, isn't it? I mean, is it new? Has no, it happened recent? Has it happened since podcast one? I have to pick Ricky up on the point that he thinks any of the monkey news we've heard <laughs> a happened and b <laughs> happened recently. It almost always happened in olden times or ages ago. Uh, or oh, you're right, it never happened. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, so like I say. 
The first monkey news, it was about this monkey that went into space. This was the one that was fed by bananas that came out of a little chute on the spacecraft. Yeah, it went, it went up there, uh, did a really good job. It was taught how to press the buttons, hit the left button for a banana, you know. Right button to, to go right, uh, make history and go, go into right space. Right, um. Ooh, what do I want? Not more banana. You haven't taken off yet? Ah, more banana. Oh, we shouldn't have given him a choice of banana or a change history. We should have the right button. We should have fed him before he went and only had a right button. He's at the left button again. He's just eating bananas up there. What's going on? It's costing us a fortune. Hey, oh, fucker. Press the right button and do something. Oh, bananas. Hey, he hit the left button again, the little fucker. So anyway, yeah, I told you, he went up there. He came back. He could never get that the high, high exactly, again. Yeah. You know mm. what I mean? He tried other things. I think he tried to get a band together and that. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah. so anyway, there was, there was loads of monkeys that were signed up to this NASA program, and it was 1961 when this little monkey called Ham, that was his name, so mm. a bit of an update, that's, that's the same one as I talked about, his right. name was Ham. As well as him, there was one called Enos, he, he went round the world loads of times. So anyway, what I've found out about it since then, um, Ham went up there, did the left-right business with the bananas, Enos... Um, they didn't put as much work into the trip when, when he went up there, and something went wrong with the machinery, and do you know how you get a banana for the left button, and all that? Mm. It's official it, now. <laughs> There's <laughs> yeah. two buttons in this spaceship, banana dispenser, and everything else. The right <laughs> button is everything else. <laughs> but, but it worked the other way. The machinery went weird. Oh no, really? So, so it meant that the right button would give him a banana. Right. The left button did everything else. Oh no! How does so that, what, that so what happen? So what have been taught? This is the problem with with electronics, isn't it? Well, no. I don't think know this. <laughs> Apparently, this is the problem. But the good. Th I mean, honestly, look it up if you want. This is all online. By the so way. what happened when it all went haywire? What what occurred? Well, luckily, Carl, Carl, this is online and it's bollocks. Luckily, um, Enos, because he'd, he'd, he'd done a few trips. <laughs> right, he's so he experienced. was like, well, I know this isn't right. <laughs> As much as I love bananas, <laughs> this isn't right. <laughs> so, was his thinking, of course it was. So anyway, so he came back, they, they were all like over the moon with him. He you said, know I mean? can't work with these conditions. Good mission and everything, well done on working it out. He sorted all that out. Um, it moved on a few years. Armstrong has gone up there, Buzz and that other fella. They've been up there, the, the monkeys aren't needed anymore. Mm. But they were like, we've got all these monkeys who have done NASA training. Mm. What are we going to do with them all? Mm. <laughs> And they had mm. to raise fourteen million pounds mm. to make him like a, a like an old sort of chimp's home for retired. <laughs> as for retired NASA trained monkeys. Chimpanots. Chimpanots. Something they've got in there is like a little museum, right, of all the missions and that that they've been on. So they can sort of, even though they're not going to be going into space again, they can almost relive it and reminisce mm -hmm. of the times that they've had. And They're reminiscing with each other, are they? Just, just sort of going, oh, like remember that time when it all went wrong, the button became the left when it should have yeah. been the right and all the rest of yeah. it. Yeah. They're just, you know, sort talking of about old times, talking yeah. about old times and what have you, like old people like to do. Yeah, sure. Um, and yeah, that's it. So if you want to, like, give give some money to towards their home, right. you can go to, like, savethechimps.org. And it's all there, all that, all that information that I've given you. It's all there. You can I'd be surprised out. if all the information you've given us is there. It's all there. I'd be very surprised. It's all there, just retired, you know, monkeys and that who have done the bit. Perhaps we should retire monkey news to that same space. That's what I mean. So, you know, I hope you've enjoyed the monkey news and that. That was the, the last one. Look after the monkeys. Uh, do your bit. Because they've done their bit. Uh, that's it, yeah. But just because I'm not giving the news, look it up. Do you know what I mean? It's all out there. Don't be ignorant. <laughs>